he's in the lobby. What perfect timing that was. Alright, get back on the track and uh, don't block anyone. Oh, there's two more spins. I'm already up to P11. Another one's gone. P10. Oh, why are you going so fucking slow? Damage my wing. Already. Alright, well, that's good. That's good. Uh, Hayden, remember to turn on yeah. repair front yeah. wing. Repair front wing is on. We're going to medium tires. Sorry, really oh. sorry for this teammate. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a penalty and a front wing changed, so... <laughs> Alright, good luck, boys. Three positions. Good job. Oh, Alex. That wasn't very kind. Oh, Good boy. stuff, uh, Thibaut. Perfect pressure. Nice. Perfect. Okay, come on, boy. Let's get through this field together. We've got this. Ruffy is on seven lap old softs. Yeah. Should be light work. Just take it cautiously. A lot of cars yeah. here. It's, it's chaos. Oh, one's gone. Alright. Don't go wide. TJD. Nice. P7. What a restart this has been. Good job. Trophy blinking. Wussy's well, gone. Free position for you, Tebow. Within the rest of the car ahead. Lovely. Uh, heading car ahead is on eight lap old hards. The steady spun. Oh, that was close. I'm going to get down here. You will have exactly. You will have exactly 60. 66% of where on the finish line. Cool. P4. Oh, spin! Braz is gone. Okay. Alright, I don't remember. Um, think of the long season ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Dirk is around 20%. Yeah, they're fine using ERS. Didn't mean to do that. Hayden, I will take ASAP. Yeah. Yep. Copy. You can. You have to pace. We got him. Copy. All right. Good job, sir. Now get him. Lovely stuff. Purple sector one, Hayden. Thank you. And PB for you, Tivo. In sector one. Oh, safety car. Uh, stay out. But well, I'm just Five worried that everyone's going to go softs. Welcome to Ferrari Strats. Tires are already orange, <laughs> like 60% on the rear left. It's going to be difficult. Yep. I'm hearing uh, Squid has a possible penalty. Yeah, due agree, to The agree. fact that he killed somebody. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, oh, good race there, good race. I didn't take the win. I was literally so close. Oh, we'll see what happens with penalties, but you know what? GG though. Do you know what? One six. From missing quality, starting at the back, rejoining, having a crash, going back to the back and getting P2 and only really getting screwed over by the. The, the safety car at the end. I'll hello, take that. I'll take that. hello, welcome everybody. How 
are we all doing? Hope we're all doing well. Hope we're all having a great day so far. And I hope we're ready for some F1 23 footage that I've got to show you that is exclusive from when I was playing the other day. Got invited down to EA uh, to come check out F1 World. So thank you very much to uh, EA for providing the opportunity to capture all of this. And I think I spent about an hour and a half. I've, how much footage have I got? I've got... Let's have a little look. Yeah, I've got an hour and a half worth of footage. Some of it is probably just going to be like stuff we've already seen throughout but it's kind of like developed from uh, from later on but today is all going to be about f1 world f1 world is kind of like the it is i don't feel like it's been as hyped up as much as maybe the other stuff i feel like for some reason the 35 percent races and also red flags have been hyped up so much more than f1 world and for me personally I know that I'm going to be playing a lot of it. It's got me thinking quite a lot of what sort of content uh, I can do around this. And I feel like this is something that a lot of people are going to be playing. So I'm surprised they haven't gone hard in on this uh, before. But, you know, we will wait and see. Thank you very much, uh, Beskelly, for the subscription. Welcome, welcome to you. Welcome, everybody. F1 World sounds like Ultimate Team in F1. Yeah and no. Like, yeah... I kind of understand it, but also definitely not. Because obviously, Ultimate Team is so well expanded. It's football. You have a wide variety of players, managers, club badges, stadiums, all that stuff that you can use. Whereas F1 World is similar in the way that it's a progression-based system. But I kind of compare it more towards like a Call of Duty aspect. Where as you go up ranks... You don't quite have ranks in this game, but as you play it more, you unlock attachments, basically, for your car to make it better, make it quicker. Um, so that's how I kind of see it more as, like, kind of like a Call of Duty aspect rather than um, the other one. Uh, you love LaSalle? Well, don't worry. LaSalle? LaSalle. Uh, we have got footage of that as well. But today, we have got F1 World. We've got gameplay. We've got uh, Las Vegas, Spain, Qatar, uh, lots of different tracks that we're going to do. So let's get through the chat. Let's say hello to all of you. Welcome you all into... Welcome Masood. Welcome Vinny. Welcome A uh, Miss 7 uh, Welcome uh, Anmar. Welcome Giannis. Welcome W11's Hot, ND, Mason, I7E, A47. Uh, Gutham. Welcome, random guy. Welcome, JD. Welcome, LTMGT. The Pac-Man Gang. Dr. Raw Storm. Curd. Uh, Axotl Nerd. We've also got uh, N ND, I think I've already said. Um, welcome as well. Anybody that we're missing. Karen Sands. A Miss 7 AK. Uh, welcome also to N Goglia. Uh, Raymond. Welcome to Dakshan. We've also got in the chat... Uh, Devin, Cassie, welcome to you. Welcome to CPC Tactics. Welcome to uh, Danny Monroe or Munro. Uh, welcome, of course, to B BS Kelly. Uh, ET Square, we've got Chamir, uh, Crazy Casper. Welcome to you in the chat, Luke. Uh, welcome also to Simon. Uh, oh, we jumped a bit. Simon. Uh, FRA, welcome to you, welcome to Al Gamer, welcome to ZRL Yale, welcome to Owen Dagger, welcome also to Dark, welcome to the stream guys, welcome to Simon, welcome to, uh, who else, who else, who else, Bananai, uh, Epic, Tuma, um, Colin as well, Alfie, Super Art, A Super Arton, Super Ayrton, uh, Super, no one else is Super, just Super Ayrton, uh, Rick, Z, welcome to you. Welcome also to Pac-Man. It's going crazy in there. Pac-Man, why are you just listing people from Quadrant? <laughs> are you okay, Pac-Man? Uh, Lati9F1, welcome. Welcome, Jordan. Welcome to I'm a nice person. I'm sure you are. Welcome, Seb. Welcome, uh, Cosmic Blast Gaming. Welcome to FRL Charlie. Anybody else? Anybody else that I've missed? If I've missed you, just say hello. I'll get you in a bit. Matt, welcome. I am the end boss. It's Matt from Wii Sports. Welcome, Matt from Wii Sports. Ball striker as well. Uh, and I believe I'm up to date. Formula Bonanzo. Welcome, welcome. Right. Okay, you, you're watching this stream while you've got a nice view of corpse. I thought I read that as, as a corpse first. I was slightly worried. Um, I won't lie. 
Um, right. Let's get through this from about here, maybe. Okay, now this isn't going to play. Please play. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, right. So we can pause this. We're going to be on the F1 world screen. It's going through. Right, okay. Let's get into it then. F1 World Chat. Let's explain to everybody what F1 World is going to be, what's coming to the game, and show off the gameplay that I got to do. And you know what? I'm very excited for when this game drops and when we can all start playing this together uh, from um, F1 uh, 23 launch on next Tuesday. It's a week tomorrow now. A week tomorrow, the Champions Edition. Also, I've got, got a poll running right now, so feel free to go into that. Give me your thoughts on it now. I want your... First, proper opinions on F1 World. Before watching this footage, do you like F1 World? We've got yes, no, or not sure yet. Um, but give me your opinions. Obviously, a lot of people are saying that they like it, which is good. I'm quite excited for it as well. Uh, you've missed nothing. We're going to get into the gameplay right now. So, this is uh, F1 World. It's, it's quite simple. It is basically a world. You have all these different options. You've got Grand Prix, multiplayer. Now, those aren't necessarily baked into F1 World. What is F1 World is series, solo, and multiplayer, and ranked multiplayer. Those parts are all part of F1 World. The parts that aren't, but it's still kind of integrated, you still have your normal Grand Prix modes. So if you want to go on, and my thing stopped working again. Come on, load, load. Why, why, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Let me go back to here. We'll let that, we'll let, we'll let that buff for a bit. Grand Prix mode, for example, all still there. All still completely there. If you just want to jump in, you don't want to drive the F1 World cars, you want to drive F123 cars, that's perfectly fine. You go do that in Grand Prix. Uh, but what you earn from doing the amount of laps, you get lap bonuses uh, also for, for how you drive. Uh, it can affect your safety rating. There is an option to turn that off in solo player. So if you go, you come back from work, you're a bit annoyed and you're like, do you know what? I just want to, I just want to use the AI as brakes. I just want to take out the AI. Or if I'm just trying to make some content where I'm trying to get a car that's crashed out, um, then I would jump on here. I would turn that off and it won't affect my safety rating or my safety license. We'll get into more of that into detail a bit later, but that's how that's going to work. And obviously multiplayer and Grand Prix, uh, you can go do that. So that's fine. You can do, go do multiplayer Grand Prix. It's not part of the F1 World cards. You don't have to worry about the tech level. What you can see at the moment on screen, you've got tech level right here. You've got your license rating. Obviously, this would be your name. I was under an EA uh, F1 event uh, account. You've got your items. So we, you can see we've got four items available uh, will people be using mods straight away, do you reckon? Probably not. I mean, a lot of people don't use mods straight away in games just because they want to play the actual game. But um, then they will start to use it a little bit later. But uh, yeah, this is where you're going to be getting your notifications for what you can unlock in the game. And then this is just your normal tier in terms of the pits, the pit lane pass. The pit lane pass has been expanded this year. We'll get onto that later. But there are 50 uh, elements and you've still got the free and the VIP version. Uh, that's the main sort of paid aspect of the game. But in terms of pay to play win, I can't really see much of it really coming into uh, works here with F1 World. Right, why why is it not working? Can we... What's happening? Right, my footage is being a little bit... Um... Hold on, let me, let me just close this and bring this back up again. Let me if I close it and I bring it back up, it should work. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Right, okay, that's working. Okay, cool. Uh, hopefully we don't have this issue a lot. Uh, right, so back up. Cool, right, so you've got your series, you've got your solo and multiplayer events, and you've got your ranked multiplayer. Now, obviously we've gone to the part where we have items available for our car. This is what you're going to be greeted with, with your F1 World car. So you've got the car here. You've got your livery. This is just the one that I think I think I jumped onto it after Ben. So this is his livery that he, he chose or the game chose for him. Box down a livery. You're going to have all your livery customization still from previous games. You can uh, make your car look as much as you want with sponsors are a little bit different though. Uh, you can, I believe, put on the sponsor stickers, but you can also get sponsor contracts that are going to affect it. Over here, you have items that you can basically use to, I suppose, kind of craft um, parts of the car. You've got your cash. You've got your insight, you've got your key insight and critical insight, and then you've got setup data, track data, and tire wear data, and then you also have um, uh, stickers here as well, uh, and reply to comments. 
So Aiden can see the comments. I can see the comments. I'm just talking to you guys at the moment. You know, if there's if there's something that you uh want to chat about, we can we can we can chat um for sure. Uh, last the first in Mercedes at Qatar. Uh, when we jump on it, yeah, we will be doing that for sure. Uh, maybe not in a Mercedes. We'll definitely do some challenges at Qatar. I love Qatar. We will get onto some footage on that later. Um, you also have here your vehicle components. You've got your rear wing. I believe all aerodynamics. You've got your gearbox, your brakes, your engine. Then you've got team-wise. You've got sponsor, R&D head. Uh, this is strategist. I can't remember what this one was. Um, I believe that was maybe like team principal or something like that. Uh, no, this is not live. Um, this is, I'm the only one that is live. This is, this is my footage that I captured, uh, last week that I'm showcasing to you. Max, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the channel. So as you can see, we've already unlocked a rare aerodynamics package engine. Uh, we've got an epic version of the, uh, team principal for five races. You've got the contract there next to his name. We've got one item available. We can maybe put on the car. And all the others are tech level 100. These are a little bit higher. And then they all come together and create a tech level. For example, you've got tech level 117 right here. So that is your overall tech level. Um, so we're going to unlock the latest item that we've got, which is an uncommon gearbox, which is tech level 136. And it's also going to give us a little bit of a bonus as well. So it's going to give us plus one on the weight reduction. You can equip it. It's on the car. We're all good to go. We're looking at that. That's fine. We don't have anything else to add there on the rear wing. This is the main menu that you're going to get greeted with now on the game. After you go into F1 World. And then you can go into your series and stuff like that. And then you have all your series on the side. You've got street circuits. You have this. This is not the first series that you come onto. There will be a series before that. There's like an introduction to F1 World. It's very quick and simple. Once you get into that, you unlock these series. You have street circuits 1, 2, Three. I think there's three objectives to get through there. Same with official F1. The way they explained this was that they had championships on the game before. But the way that one would work is that if you, you know, mess up one race, you kind of mess up your whole championship and you might not win the championship. Whereas this, if you mess up one, you only go back. If you don't quite get the objective, you just go back towards um, the last race. You don't have to do the whole thing again. You just do that one race again. Uh, so they changed it to series this time. And... Yeah, you've just got different ones. And here on the side, you have your tech level that you should be able to. So obviously, we're tech level 1, 2, 2. Europe's going to be easier. They're all going to be tech level around 90. So that's the recommended one to do. If we have a tech level 90, um, then you will have a uh, tech level 90. Then it should be easy for you. But obviously, you still have to beat that. If you don't do well against tech level 90, then you're not going to score that many points and that many... Uh, uh, XP as well and stuff like that and obviously these are just recommended so you I'm tech level 122 130 should be fine for us uh, There's not a dot in Af Africa. Obviously Africa is all here uh, This one here, I believe is Saudi Arabia. This one here is United Arab Emirates Then you've got uh, Bahrain and Qatar these two dots here uh, Unfortunately, there are no new tracks. We can go through all the dots here. You've got uh, I believe that's Canada uh, Miami Austin Kota uh, you got Vegas, you got Mexico, you got Brazil, you got Australia, you got uh, Singapore, China, Japan. Uh, over here is Baku, I believe this one is there. And then you've got your Silverstone, your Dutch GP, um, Spa, Belgium. Then you've got Portugal, you've got uh, Barcelona in here, you've got Monaco, France, Italy, all of those ones in there. And then you've got Hungary and Austria. Uh, in those ones as well. So, unfortunately, no no new tracks uh, at the moment. Maybe some DLCs, but I'm not holding out for it. They have added new, two new tracks onto the game this year with Qatar and Vegas that they've had to build. So, sadly, I feel like, unfortunately, they're not going to be uh, adding any new tracks, unfortunately. Uh, I'm good, D-U-H Lee Jaguar. How are you doing? Hey, now, I couldn't do the warm-up because I woke up the time warm-up was going on. Got to get up earlier for these races. Uh, so th here's, here's a little, we're going to go into this more later, but here's a little look at the license level. So you have license level C, um, and this basically dictates how you can play the game. So if you play at license level C, now if you unlock license level A, you can still play at license level C. Um, but you can't play at li license level A if you're license level C. So for example, you've got auto recovery, no damage, uh, cinematic bit stops and safety cars, and multiplayer, player-to-player -player collisions disabled. Now obviously that's different if you're doing... Uh, normal online 
So if, you, if it's not part of F1 World and you just go and do like a league race or whatever, that'll be whatever the guys who run the league put that race as. So if you're a license level C and you're joining that league race and someone's a license level A, it's not going to be different in terms of the contact models. This is just for like when you're playing against AI and you're playing against other people in the same um, same level on F1 World. But obviously in other multiplayer. So for example, if I'm hosting a lobby and I want collisions on, collisions are going to be on, even if you're level D or C. But everyone can see your license. So for me personally, if somebody has got a, a D license, then... I'm probably not going to let them race or I'm going to be very sort of like, l like looking at them like, mm, do we let them get race guys sort of thing. So we're going to have to wait and see on that one. Um, but just, just to be aware that this is going to affect and you can work on this through all aspects of what you do on F1. Uh, but obviously you get more rewards if you're a high, high license. It's quite similar to how iRacing works. Uh, it should be, it should be good fun. Um, what is your opinion on the part rarity? I personally don't think the part rarity kind of means anything. I don't know if you get anything more back if you disassemble that part. Um, so I'm not really too sure. But uh, yeah, that's kind of how how that works. Um, so yeah, you've got your license level C. We can go back and play license level D if we want to. But see, I want to play at C. I want to kind of play at the highest level and try and build up the, the license as much as I can. And you still have all this. I just want to see what assist Ben's, Ben was running. This stuff you can't really change in the F1 world aspect for. Because it's kind of set out the challenges for you. And it's basically F1 world in the early stages is a way of building somebody else up through the game. So it's kind of like the way they said it is they want people to go from the, the story mode. Where you don't really have too much control over the car. You do little short little challenges. But you don't necessarily learn how F1 works. And then here... Is a way that you can kind of build up to it. So there's one that we'll get to later. That I think it's like track mastery. And that is where it is more built into. With the. Um, oh you can't hear it. Hang on. There you go. I don't know if that's too loud. Let me know if that's too loud. I can turn that down for sure. Um, yeah built into with the. What am I saying? The early part of the season, and that's I don't even know what I'm saying now. What was I chatting about? I got distracted well, we'll by sound. If I become a member, how do I get the thing on Discord? Now, long, so Doctor will help you with that. Uh, the Spin Racing Crazy Series on, on Saturday looks so much fun. It was so much fun. I can't wait to drive Spain on this game. Uh, if you're wondering why everything looks a little bit weird in terms of the display... And you can't see the stuff around it's cut off. We're playing on widescreen monitors. Um, I can't showcase the whole screen without it looking a bit bit weird, sadly. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, this is gameplay. There we go. We've got our first bit of gameplay for today on the stream of F123. Uh, driving. So, this is me driving. Now, the rigs, were, the rigs weren't great, in all fairness. As you might see in the first couple of corners. Hitting the brakes, I was locking up so much because there was so little travel between the brakes on this rig, so something I had to really get used to, because I'm used to full on like slamming, like I would slam my brake pedal as hard as possible, um, whereas this one I've got to be so delicate and just push ever so lightly, but as you can see you've got other AI cars that are going to be different tech levels, so if you manage to beat these guys with a better tech level than you, you are going to earn more points and you're going to earn more rewards as well. In the F1 world, which is of course going to help you develop your car more, you're going to have the chance to unlock more uh, parts as well. Right, a shoddy workman always blames his tools. Get out of here, Doc. So having a little bit of a battle at the moment with Anne Hart. Now, obviously, the first part's all about AI, um, and that's what I was saying. Yes. So F1 world is kind of a way to to teach you and make you better um, at F1. The footage is a little bit laggy. I don't know why it came out like that. Um, this is just the way that they recorded it. So the stream is fine. It's just the footage is a little bit laggy, unfortunately. I don't know why it was like this when they recorded on their OBS. No idea. No idea. But playing it was fine. It was just the recording, sadly, uh, which messed up on, on, on their part. But all is good. Uh, yeah, so it's a way to kind of learn. So if you're somebody who's jumping on F1 a bit casually and you kind of want to work through the game, this is just me adjusting settings because I was trying to work out the brake pedal. Uh, we can skip through all of this because uh, this is just me trying to trying to find different parts with a brake pedal and it not really working. As you can see, I'm in the gravel. Um, but yeah, if you want to maybe turn off the racing line, it's going to help you do that with track mastery. So you will do a track. It's going to go from full racing line, 
to corners only. As you can see, I'm turning the settings back. So I was like, this is even worse. I made the break better worse somehow. Um, how does the rear locking feel, by the way? I can't say I've fully been able to test the rear locking. So the problems that we had in the review build that I got given that you've seen content on my channel before uh, is all about... Um, it's all on the controller because my steering wheel, they had problems with Fanatec. They fixed that for the, for the full version of the game. Uh, I noticed that when I played the actual, this version of the game, that felt fine. Um, what were you saying? Uh, but so, the, I haven't actually been able to fully test the rear locking or been able to really push it. Whereas this, I didn't really get the chance as well. Because again, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite able to be on the brakes normally to give a proper opinion. What are you most excited about for 123? In all fairness, this. In all fairness, grinding this. I love games with progression and that give me a reason to keep on playing them. And this does exactly that. It gives me a reason to keep on playing F123. Because I want to upgrade my car. I want to get to the next tech level. I want to maximize it to 1000. And then the next season, the cap's going to increase. And then I've got to grind it again to get to the next cap level. And it's the same with ranked. I want to get into the elite class on ranked. But the next season, it's going to get reset. So I'm going to have to do that again, as you can see. Uh, struggling a little bit with the throttle. I cause a crash. We cause a big pile up, and as you can see right there, my license gets affected for it. Yeah, okay, the penalty system is still going to be the same way with the penalty system. Sometimes you might get penalties, in which case you're like, come on now, that's a bit harsh. But it is going to affect your license as well, so it's going to teach you to be more clean when it comes to driving, and make sure you don't do anything wrong. Uh, now I just decided to, uh, I wanted to showcase the, 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 the license system, so of course it goes red for here, and we're going to get another one in a minute. For obviously illegal overtakes. And we're going to get contact ones as well. For crashing into that driver. Although we don't actually get the illegal one. But we do get the uh, collision there. It goes down as well. It's a different kind of warning. It's not a penalty. So it's not red. But it is a yellow uh, one. So you do have to watch out for that. And again another warning. So all of these things. Are going to affect. Your. Your uh, license level. Typical Hayden dirty driving. Get in the bin. I think now we start driving clean, though, here on, in this race in Australia. Uh, lots of the uh, challenges are just five-lap races. They're very short. They're very punchy. Um, they're a way to kind of keep you enticed. The difference between this and career mode, they kind of worked out or, or said, was that career modes are some stuff that you're going to work on the car. You're going to be working on the car at one point, but you won't see the effects of the upgrades that you do on the car until, like, ten races down the line. Whereas for this... You can feel it within like a day. Um, and it's very quick. And it's all about short, snappy races, really. Why don't I play F2? Uh, it's because this isn't live footage. I'm not actually playing the game right now. This is something that I recorded last week uh, when I was at an event. So uh, we don't play F2 on this one. We will play F2 when we get the game, though. Um, and you could have uh, sort of pushes. And you actually get little messages from the engineer. That's kind of changed there where he tells us off for being a little bit too aggressive on the last lap. So are the illegal overtake bugs going to affect the license? Can do, yeah. I mean, they're not really bugs. You never, oh, as we, you can see, we are still struggling to get used to this rig. But we, I wouldn't necessarily call a lot of the time the bugs. There have been occasional ones. But a lot of the time, it's just a case of you have been given one for illegally overtaken under a yellow flag, which at some point they can be annoying because the car's just stopped on track. But it's okay. This, we will, we will chat about a little bit more. I don't know if you heard, heard the sound effect. But this pops up. It is a little bonus. Um, and we're going to get to that later on. When we get to more towards like the end of this stream, this footage, we, we go into a bit more. Can you use the original cars in this mode as well? Yes, you can. You do have access to the original cars too. It's not just the F1 World car. You can do challenges with the normal cars. But in terms of a lot of the stuff, it is with the F1 World car. But it is just like... You, you've got your own car, you've got your own livery. It's like my team, but for online. It's the best way to kind of describe it. In terms of the aspect of upgrading your car and working on it. Because your car starts off from a... Uh, like, like a non-upgraded Williams. And your goal in here is to upgrade your car to get it to be a fully upgraded um, Red Bull, basically. As you can see. Struggling again uh, with a throttle. But we do finish this race in fourth. We do manage to beat a lot of other drivers who have the same. But we didn't finish in, this, in, in P10. And we, uh, we failed our objective. 
because we uh, got a penalty there. So, you know, you have to work the objectives, go through it, but we do still get rewards. Here's all the graphics. Nothing's really changed. A little bit of change, to be fair. You've got more stuff of team celebrating. You've obviously got your team in your garage uh, with the helmets. I'm quite interested to see if they're all the same guy under the helmets. And uh, obviously other AI drivers with deliveries and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know whether they're going to be... Because I remember like in Forza, for example, they take names of people in your friends list and they put them in the online aspect as well as AI. That'd be quite cool if they did that because obviously they've got people like Talented Bear in there and stuff like that. So I wonder if... The people that you race against in single player will still have the same names as people in your friends list uh, in the actual game. And as that is a bit loud, so I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Uh, as you can see, we get a little bit of XP towards the uh, podium pass. It's going to become important. We're going to look into the podium pass later and see what you can unlock. There are some cool stuff in there. And uh, this is a good example of, uh, for example, the tech level. So everybody here is kind of like orange. These are the people that we should uh, be quite even with. And then the red are going to be the difficult ones. But if you beat them, you're going to get some good rewards. Unfortunately, we were third in that race. Uh, third or fourth, I think. But uh, the penalty, unfortunately, put us down. Uh, are there any features you would want to get added into F1 World? I haven't played it fully enough to give an opinion on that. So I'll have to wait and see when we get the game fully. And I played it after like a month to be like, okay, what's worked? What hasn't? What would I like to see changed? Um... There are definitely aspects. I think I would like to see a bit more of like a ranking system. I love the Call of Duty ranking system where you literally have ranks. You go up you and then if you want to restart yourself. So th that's how I probably would have preferred to see it. Is that you upgrade the car basically as you level up. Uh, the car gets better. Um, which is kind of still the aspect as you play the game more. You can, you can upgrade the car yourself. You can choose your own upgrades. Uh, but instead of this one you kind of have... You know, you unlock different elements, different parts, stuff like that. And then people can see what rank you are, for example. So you could be level 60. And then once it gets to level 60, you know, you can't go any further. But if you want to prestige and go to a higher prestige, you can do that. And then you go and start again from one and you work your way up. But people who see you as level one will see you, see you, see you as like prestige one or prestige two, level one. So... You know, you're going to... They'll still see you as like, damn, this person has grinded it out. Instead of being like, oh, I've got to level 60. Why would I want to go back to level 1 for no reason? You can kind of see it. I would like to see that. But it's not in the... It's not in this version of F1 World, unfortunately. Um, but I am... But I still think this system is going to work. I still think it's a good system. I think there's something that they might... They might adapt. This is the first time they're doing it. So I think they will adapt it. Can you post here? I don't give Twitter. What do you mean? Oh, the uh, the soundtrack has been released. Fair, fair. We, I'd never heard the soundtrack for the last one because we played it on, on this, obviously. We have unlocked items, so we will go to the gar garage and assess that. But we've also got uh, solo and multiplayer. This is all about the rank. So for ranked this year, you're going to have three tracks each week, I believe that is. Uh, yeah, just this week. So it gives you a chance just to grind free tracks rather than randomly jumping into a track that you may not have had some so much running on. If you're if you're trying to grind ranked, you know you can then look at it and go, okay, I can just need to uh, sweat out Australia, Spain, and Mexico. And if you do that, it's going to give you a bit better chance, isn't it, for for here? So you have access to that. This is all the, all the license uh, is. Obviously, we're starting in Brazil. And we can't show you exactly because we haven't unlocked that. But you have like people in your current division. Uh, I think it's like a hundred people. If you come out in the top, you um, you finish. Uh, you can move up. So you can you join a group each week. You get put in a group of other people. You start at bronze. You can work up to level one and two silver. You get an extra bit of XP for being that rank. So it's worth doing it. Uh, and then you can up, go up to gold one, two, and three. Once you get to gold, you can then start to go down. Uh, but only down to silver, I believe. Or it's gold two down to gold one. They weren't quite clear on that, so we have to wait and see that one. But if you finish in the bottom half, you can go down. Uh, but you go to one, two, and three. And then once you go up from three to elite, uh, you can't go back down. You're in elite for the rest of the season. You're going to gain that 20 XP. And then it's a case of trying to be the best in the world on F123. If you're in a certain position, I think it's kind of like... That, that aspect is kind of like ultimate team. I think there's like foot champs. Like I haven't played ultimate team since like 2014. So it's changed a lot. But I believe there's something like foot champs, uh, I think, 
Um, and you can become uh, overall ranking in the world or whatever. And if you do that, then you're going to earn rewards at the end of season. And I believe that is the aspect that they are going with for this as well. The season will, every season, you'll get uh, put back to, everyone will go back to bronze. You'll all go back to the lowest level. Um, so that is that on, on that one. Uh, but rank something like that, again, I, I, I'm really confused as to what I want to be playing. Uh, we tried to jump on and see what we could do on it, but obviously uh, there wasn't any, any other sessions going to be on. So uh, there was nothing happening there. You've got the online solo and multiplayer. So if you don't really want to do the series, the series are always going to be there. They're not going to progress uh, unless you play them. So you can't move forward unless you complete them. So they're always going to be there. But there's so much to do in the series. Uh, but in terms of the... Uh, so they can get more people in gold, probably. Why don't they do silver free? I think it's just a... I, I agree. I wish they had more ranks, more levels to go up. Because I think it's only like a few... If you think of a season only being two months long, that gives you eight weeks to go from bronze to elite. Now, you can go up two levels at once if you're, like, the top person in those uh, out of those 100. You can go up a couple of ranks at once. But if you are only going up, like, one rank or you're, you know, one rank this week, you're not going up the next week, it's going to be more difficult to get to elite and you might not ever make there if they had, like, ten or whatever. Um... Uh, I've got an hour and a half worth of footage. So until I get through all this footage, that's how long this stream will be. In terms of events on solo multiplayer, you have quick races. That's just like, that's basically your bog standard jump in races. And here you go. You have all the different track selections and a random one. The random one is there. So that, that that's the place that you're going to be most likely selected with most drivers. So everyone's most likely going to be going for the random one. And you're going to go there for random tracks. But if you want to select a certain track, you've obviously got to know that, you know, maybe not a lot of people at the same time are going to pick that same track. So say you want to do... Uh, I don't know. You want to do France for some strange reason. Maybe no one else is doing France. You could just be sat in a lobby by yourself for a while. But if you go to random, you're probably going to get in a lobby straight away. Uh, you've got race week, which is community race, which is, I think, the same as what they had last year in terms of the community events uh, on the games, which is just have a, again, another table kind of ranking sort of thing there. F1 Mobile is absolutely rubbish. That was so much better. What was so much better? F1 Mobile. Uh, so yeah, this is just a uh, celebrate. You just do take part in multi session events spanning the whole week. So you just do lots of sessions, gain points for that. Uh, try and finish in the top. Um, something interesting to note here, your tie wear data. You're going to get a lot of tie wear data for this, by the way. Uh, it's got three like chevrons av arrows. If it has one, it's only going to give you like a little bit. If it has three, it's going to give you a lot. Uh, or two, it's going to give you like a medium amount. Uh, then you've got this one, Race Week Hotline Challenge. This was actually quite easy. We, we, we're we going to showcase this one in a bit. So this was quite an easy one just to tick off if you want to get points and want to get prizes and, and stuff like that. Uh, quite easy to do. Uh, you just got to beat a certain time. It's just a time trial. It's very, very simple. No SD, just a random challenge. You jump into a 35% race. You've got no SD. You've just got to drive with no SD. That's all it is. And then we'll get into the other ones later. We're now going to jump onto the uh, hot lap and show you what that's about. Have you tested red flags? I have not. Uh, all of the car mo models are here as well. Unfortunately, they don't have the updated Mercedes. Uh, these are all probably the cars released at the start of the season in Bahrain. So you've got the Red Bull. Uh, I think the Ferrari was missing last time. So that's updated. The Merc has been updated to the no side pods Merc. You've got the Alpine. Um, you've got McLaren. All the actual car models for this season are now on the car. Of course, we're going to pick Aston Martin because I love Aston Martin. Uh, they've got their real uh, steering wheels, but the, M the, 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 the display on the steering wheel is going to be bog standard. It's going to be like that on every single car uh, for this year's game. So the LED display is going to be exactly the same for everyone. The time trial is you've just got to beat the gold time. And I think you get two laps to do it, or I don't know whether we did it in two laps. I don't know if that's why, but here we go. We're going to showcase the brand new layout of Spain. Again, apologies for the frame rate. I don't know why it was on such a low frame rate in terms of recording. It's a little bit annoying. But, um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, can you drive Qatar in Las Vegas? Yes, we can. We will get onto that later. Don't you worry, uh, TIR. That's going to be later. Austria will be used least in F1 World, I think. Why would you say that? I think Austria's quite a fun track. Uh, as you can see, we're absolutely flying through this at the moment. We've just got a bog standard default setup. Um, and we're quite a lot faster than the bronze time by four seconds at the moment. Are all the drivers updated? Because I saw in another video, for some reason, the Tifi and Mick dog in... It's still lol. They are still in the game. 
but they're in the F122 cars because of F1 Breaking Point. Because F1 Breaking Point is F122 and F123 together. So they are still in there, but no, the driver models for the teams for the F123 cars are the actual drivers. I don't know where you saw that, that it was the uh, wrong drivers, because it shouldn't be. Uh, took a little bit too much curb there on the inside. And then this is going to be the new corners. And I, I've seen a few people go, oh, well, it looks too easy now. Yes, it's easy in terms of this corner is just an easy flat out. But this corner isn't. This corner you've got to get right because you, it's just a little bit of a downshift and through the corner. And if you get it perfect, you're going to gain so much time on somebody who maybe breaks a bit too much or lifts up too much. Uh, as you can see, we actually beat the goal time there as well. But uh, it gives us another lap to go put in. So before we might as well miss the apex slightly there. So not great. They have updated the circuit slightly. I don't know how much different it is compared to the real life circuit. Obviously, the um, the paint and all that around the outside and the advertisements aren't always going to align exactly. But it looks fairly similar. Oh, uh, Australia and Singapore updated. Australia is. I have seen Australia. I didn't race on Australia on this one. But it is, up it is updated. Singapore, I didn't actually try and I should have done. Uh, but I didn't actually try. The handling is great. The handling feels so much better. Um, you can still spin the car. But that's just if you're over-aggressive with your throttle input. And just doing stuff that you shouldn't really be doing anyway. So, um... But in terms of spinning out in fifth gear... Yeah, it doesn't happen anymore. Has Belgium gravel traps been updated again? I didn't race on Belgium. Um, sadly, it's something I probably should have done. But, uh, we will, we, we've only got a week to go to find out. And then through the last couple of corners, again, hug it a little bit tighter this time. And then through the right-hander. And that is the lap. And then that's going to take us off for the gold one. We beat the time. As you can see, we're down on the gold. We're going to get the gold target. We're going to get a lot of points that. Thank you very much, Lolo, Gummy, Buzzer, One Shot for the subs. If you are new around here, do hit the sub button because we've got a whole lot more F1 23 content coming to you guys very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe so you don't have to miss that. And also, we do live streams here every single week as well. No worries, Ak Akip. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but enjoy. Have a good rest of your day. Um, yeah, we'll do Qatar in a bit. Uh, is time trial the same as last F1, or is it based on race week? Uh, it's based on race week. So, obviously, it's going to be Spain this time around, because it was the Spanish Grand Prix. Uh, I don't know what they're going to fill in in between non-race weeks. But when we get to Canada, there's going to be a Canada aspect. So, it's going to be Canada hot time trials, Canada races, and then Canada... Um, challenge as well like a little gimmicky challenge like the one we're gonna go to a bit so we get quite a lot back from this one for click completing the goal we get 10 insight three key insight and then we get one critical insight we get a rare wing part we get a legendary wing part we get an epic wing part and we also get legendary breaks as well and 300 cash uh, and as i will show you later those stuff can be used to build new car parts hey man uh no crazy casper we will not be driving f2 cars today sorry uh, has China had turned for Apex fixed? Because in the F122, the Apex would fling my car. I have no idea. I didn't want to play China. I don't like it. Uh, I think it's a boring track. Um, right. I can't remember what we do next. I think we jump into some Las Vegas. I was just looking at the uh, different stuff that you could do. So we've got official F1 Series 1, Stage 1. Uh, and then we're going to look through the license level. So do we jump into this? No, we do. We, we do an Italy. Yeah, we do this Italy race first. That's what we do. We're going to drive as the Alpine and do this Italy race first. Uh, can you, like, pick a track still or not? What do you mean? What do you mean? You can still do time... Yeah, 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 you can still do that. All that, all the stuff that you could do before is still in the game. You can still do Grand Prix. You can still do time trial. You can still do it online. There's just other stuff. This is separate, but integrated, if that makes sense. Like, what you do in your own time trials can still earn you XP that will go towards F1 World without actually playing in F1 World. But you do also have these separate challenges that are in F1 World that you'll gain more rewards from, basically, for doing it. Do you think F1 will have a race on contest by... I hope, I really hope that um, Kailani comes to the field. That'd be so cool. But yeah, sorry for the confusion. You can say if you're doing a league race around... I don't know. I'm doing a league race around Qatar this week. But it, we're currently in the Canadian Grand Prix weekend. You're going to still be able to do the time trial on Qatar. Uh, we've got a visitor over here. Evie has come back. Do you want to say hi to Evie again, chat? Whilst we watch this uh, Italy Grand Prix. Who wants to say hi to Evie? Do some stretches at the moment. Um, 
Are the FIA more strict in the game or not? Probably about the same. I think the penalty system is about the same as it was last year. Stroll P1. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, starts a lot better. A lot better on F1 23 than they were on F1 22. Uh, don't seem like impossible this time. Last time they were so impossible. Uh, An AI... A lot less aggressive, I would say. Still aggressive enough not to just open the door every single time you come past them. But uh, I meant... Oh, Antarctica? No, nah, we're not going to see one on Antarctica. Uh, definitely, definitely not. What are you doing? I buy the Navy. Do you think EA will add more, add more legacy tracks? I do hope so, but I don't think for this year's game. Um, but I do think they're going to keep those tracks on the game. I think it's down to licensing. And I think the only way we might get them is if we get them as like a paid DLC, which personally I don't mind. Because if we're giving them like, you know, a fiver for an Istanbul circuit, I'm going to play that Istanbul circuit so much that I'll get my money's worth out of it. Do you think Lars will ever win a race? Oh, one day I hope. One day I hope. <laughs> hey, Lawando, how are you doing? Uh, so, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know. I, I wasn't able to work out the difficulty changes. So I don't know whether you can change the difficulty too much. Because as you can see, we were doing a challenge here for the series. We are driving in F1 cars. Um, but you're going to see that the AI are not quite up to my level. Because of the tech level that I am at the moment, I don't think I'm getting the difficulty that I should be. You can change it in other aspects races. We get a clean lap for there. So our license is rewarded for that. The more clean laps you're going to get, the more bonuses you're going to get for it. As you go, Will Tour with Verstappen. He breaks a little bit early into turn one. And as you can see, the AI a little bit easier compared to myself. But I believe this is all down to the tech level. And I didn't really look in terms of difficulty too much. Because uh, I just want to get as much gameplay footage as we possibly could. And now we're going to go on the attack of Charles Leclerc. I feel like the battle here with Charles Leclerc was quite good. He put his car in the nice places. Like, putting it in the middle. I could have maybe lunged up the inside. But I didn't want to affect my license. I don't want to make contact to affect that there. Hey, Rocket Pro. Thank you very much for the sub. Ruben Jack as well. Race game ace and can, uh, can zoo. Welcome, welcome. So around the back of Charles Leclerc at the moment. Through the right hander on the Lesmo. And now this is where we're going to maybe uh, go on a launch attack. Use our, our ERS. Go on the outside of the corner. And Charles Leclerc putting me very, very close to the barriers there. Leaving me just about enough room. And then he breaks a little bit early and we get the move down in towards, uh, in towards that corner. No problem, Rocket Bro. Send your question across. Go, go, go. Have you tried locking your rear wheels? I, I haven't. As I was saying earlier, I was driving on a rig that I wasn't comfortable with. And I wasn't able to drive properly on this one. So I was having to press the brake like really, really lightly to get full brake pressure. When is the next uh, Road to Riches stream? Uh, we're going to be doing a sort of... It's Rags to Riches, but it's not. It will be tomorrow. Uh, no, Wednesday. So Wednesday, we're going to be doing something different. Uh, won't really have too much effect on the series. But it's a game that we have to play. Uh, and it is F1 Race Stars. We'll be playing F1 Race Stars on Wednesday. And then we'll be doing the rest... On um, F1 2013 in about a month, two months time. What do you think about the new Mercedes side pod? If it gives them performance, then I like it. What do you think of the new F1 23 game? I have enjoyed what I've played so far. I haven't been able to play much of it. So we have to wait and see on what it's like in terms of stability when it comes to online. But for what I've played offline, I have really enjoyed so far. Uh, the handling feels so much better. Um, what you can do in the game gives me more reason to keep on playing it. So I am excited for it. I got a wheel finally for my birthday. It's on the 10th of June. Hey, just in time for F123. Nice. Opinion on the Spanish Grand Prix. Uh, I thought it was quite enjoyable. I was unfortunately working during it, so I couldn't watch it fully. But what I did watch was quite enjoyable. What are your thoughts on the curves on the new game? Are there still auto spin curves? Not that I've noticed. I feel like the curves have kind of been a little bit more forgiving but you can still feel them on force feedback uh, as you go over them so you know if you go over a curve that is a big yellow sausage one it is gonna hurt you like you, you can't do that but you can't do that in real life either so that's fine uh, as you can see we get another clean lap there do you recommend this game to people yes i do i mean i'm gonna be playing this game so much uh so i'm probably the wrong one to ask because i'm not a great critique i love playing the f1 games i enjoy them so much i played f122 for the whole year so I'm definitely going to be playing F123 for the whole year. As a, Oh, my hard drive is disconnected. Good stuff. Uh, one second. My hard drive does not like being able to handle uh, that. Uh, so let me get that back up. 
and we will make sure that we have that. Can you drive the Mercedes? I want to see how the Halo looks. I believe I do drive the Mercedes. Um, where are we, like 27 minutes in? Yeah, that hurt. Cool. Cool, there we go. Uh, I got the Fanatic. Which Fanatic did you get, Fade Hayes? Yeah, the restarts feel a lot better, James. A lot better. What do you do for work? This is my work. This is my work. I was putting together a video uh, for after the race. I was putting together the 2012 Rags to Riches uh, race. We do a lot of F123 streams. We'll be streaming this game every single damn day, TDS uh, Bacos. Uh, at least up until the weekend. And then I'm unfortunately busy at the weekend. But then we'll be streaming it every day after that. Uh, story mode. I won't be playing story mode that much. It's not for me. But that's fine. I, I, you know, if people enjoy it, I'm not saying it shouldn't be in the game. They enjoy it, they go enjoy it. I'm just not going to play it because it's not really for me. I might do like different aspects of like trying to make challenges on it. But in terms of actually playing the story mode, it's not really for me. Can you drive the Belgium track? Unfortunately, not today, uh, Linus. Not today. Love you, man. Love you too, Eldest Gaming. Thank you very much, Stuart. J. Aston Racing for the subs. Uh, do you play any other racing games? Not really. I play a lot of F1 23. I did dabble with a little bit of iRacing. I do want to get back into iRacing. But uh, F1 23 is just that, the hype at the moment. It's something I'm very excited to be playing. Hey, Marcus, how are you doing? Uh, no, Vine, we I haven't been able to try and get a red flag at the moment. Uh, we will be doing that uh, for other content when F1 23 actually drops. Hey, let's go, RGB. RB, not RGB, RB16. Let's go. Doing great knowing I don't have school to do. Nice. Is my birthday the 10th of June? No, my birthday's not the 10th of June. Mine's the uh, 4th of August. As you can see, this race is quite easy. We're seven seconds ahead of the AI. Um, definitely something I want to look into when, we ke when it comes to getting the game. To see if there's a way to make it a bit more difficult. And if you do so, I presume you're probably going to get more rewards for doing that as well. Is this one F1 World because I just joined? Yes, this is F1 World, uh, Lucas. It's a cheap one because it's the R1. Okay, fair. It's still will, though. Still will. And the Fanatec is a good place. I, I like the Fanatecs. Yeah, Finished on Aston Martin this season. Decent. Well there we go. See, look, we passed. We uh, beat that. We improved our license level. So all is good there. And we won the race as well. Yes, I have done karting. Not often, but I do it quite a bit when I can. Not often, but I can do it quite a bit. That doesn't make sense. Not often, but... If and when I can, I definitely do it. And I, I, I do love a bit of karting. Uh, Talking Points podcast will never come back. Uh, Tomo does his own thing. Last lap. Aldas is doing his own stuff. Matt's doing his own stuff. I'm doing my own stuff. And I, 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 I didn't really enjoy being on a podcast talking about F1. Like I was just kind of like an expert. That's kind of how I felt the podcast was. And it wasn't sort of me. I like to just kind of relax, have fun, entertain. Not kind of be like, ah, oh, look, I know it all. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just wasn't enjoying that aspect of it. Right Is the damage, damage simulation good? I didn't try it on uh, simulation damage. It sets these stuff for you at the start for um, F1 World because you're a certain license. Uh, do you think F1 World will cater to those who play at different difficulty levels? I only play at like 75. Uh, yes. Yes. It, I, mean, I mean, it will. It, the online aspect is online, so nothing will change there. The AI aspect, I believe you can turn it down. And make it easier for yourself. You just won't get as many rewards. That's all it is. But you can still have an enjoyable experience. It might just take you longer to build up your car. Compared to somebody who can race on 110 AI. And can bump the AI up. And get those extra benefits. Those extra boosts. Um, that's all really. Uh, I feel like I need to move this down. Um, so you can actually see the full screen. There we go. Can you flip the car upside down? Is it easy to do? I, I don't know. I haven't tried it. Uh, there you go. So those are the rewards we got for that one. Can you drive as a real drive on F1 World? No, you are yourself. Um, and this is where we're going to go showcase through everything. So the garage. So we're going back to the car garage. We've unlocked eight items. We've got contract strategist. Contract strategist. Um, hopefully it plays. No, don't do this again. Why is it doing this? Come on. 21 minutes in. Okay, right. 
My hard drive is just being an absolute pain. All right, 31 minutes in. Right, cool, cool. As long as I don't rewind it, it's fine. I think it's just because it's an hour and a half worth of footage. Right, so what have we unlocked then? We have unlocked. Uh, so, strategist, contracts. Now, you have contracts and you have them for sponsors. Strategist, team principal, I think it is, an R&D head. You have all of those things. Um, and you have contracts for separate ones. These aren't uncommon. These are probably going to unlock with most stuff that you play. They're quite easy to come by, so you don't have to be that frugal with them. You can just kind of spend them on if and when you want them. Um, and they will give you different bonuses. So 20% chance of tire wear uh, data from events if you put this one on the guy uh, or, or girl that you are signing. Uh, we've also unlocked a, another rear wing, but it's actually here. You can see it's, it's worse than the part that we have. So uh, that's there. We've got another rear wing. Which is a legendary wing, 162. This one, as you can see, is better. It's got 11 downforce and plus 10 DRS efficiency at dry events. Uh, have they updated my team at all? We didn't get to play my team, sadly. So you'll have, just have to wait and see when the game drops. Um, we got more parts there. A brakes, which is better than the brakes that we currently have. Another wing that is better than the one, one we currently have. An epic contract that gives us a cash bonus when starting in the top 10. Um, I believe your grid position also is determined by your tech level in races so if you have a higher tech level you're going to be starting on pole if you have a lower tech level you're going to be starting at the back now i kind of feel like i would have preferred it the other way round. i understand why they've done that because you've worked your way to have that tech level so you deserve to be at the front because you put more effort in than somebody who has a lower tech level but I feel like it would have been better to see the people with the lower tech level at the top and the people with the higher tech level because it kind of gives them more stuff to do. They're already quick anyway. Uh, they should surely be at the back to come through the field, if that makes sense. You know? Maybe I'm wrong there, but that's just how I felt. Um, so we're going to go through, and we have, obviously, for the rear wing, we have a lot of different options. So currently, our one that we have currently selected is 150. This one is worth. These ones are better. This is where I mean with the kind of, like, rarity like, it's rare, it's epic, it's legendary, but you can have, for example, uh, it's not very well shown here, but you can have an uncommon part that is better than a legendary part. So it kind of means that the rarity, I don't really understand it. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, it's fine. So you can select the 162 one. We'll, we'll select the better uh, wing now, which is going to give us... I was looking first at this. I wasn't actually looking at the big number at first when I was playing it. I was a bit stupid. Um... Hence why it takes me a while to select the one I actually want. So I select this one. And what you can do is you can actually get rid of parts that are rubbish. You can dismantle them. And what I'm going to do if I dismantle them is I get 5k cash, I believe. Uh, and I'm going to get two insight, which is great. I'm going to get some cash out of it. I'm going to get some insight. And you also get uh, some stickers for doing it. Now, we'll get on stickers later. And why they are actually quite fun to do. And, you know, they're a gimmick. Every game has a gimmick. So it's not something that you're going to be using and focusing on too much unless you want to. But as you collect them, they're going to give you rewards. So it's something that you can just keep an eye on and you can just do at the end of every session of playing the game. Pretty easy, simple to do. Uh, yeah, like a reverse grid style thing. It'd be quite good. Um, new crews put up a short saying the AI gets slower starts. Yes, they are slower on F123 at starts. They're not as good as they were last year, which is kind of like a good thing. I felt they were too OP last year. Uh, do you get F123 earlier than everyone else or on the 13th? I believe we are due to get it earlier, but we can't post anything until the 13th. We lose money if you crash like damage cost. Oh, I don't actually know. I wasn't able to try that out, to be fair. Uh, but as you can see, we're putting stuff on our car and our tech level is going up. It's 131 now. It was 122. Uh, we have got a strategist. Oh, no, we haven't. We haven't got a strategist. We just had contracts for them. Uh, and you have all this stuff. You've got showroom stills. So you can look through the cars. You've still got the supercars built into the game. You've still got the um, F2 cars. You've still got the uh, F1 cars. And you've got the F1 World car as well, which is just the My Team car. And the My Team car obviously looking different compared to last year. The nose is a bit slimmer. Looks a bit better. I think the nose was too fat and chunky uh, in last year's game. Um, so, yeah, you've still got that. Trophies still there. So, you have your trophies out. I think this looks a lot better, though. I think where well, they had F1 life last year um it was still very sort of like 2d i think they've made this at least look a lot better you still have your customization you can go through all of your liveries that you've unlocked we're going to showcase some of the liveries that you've got now so interesting enough 
The Audi car's still there. You can still have an Audi car. So if you want an Audi car, you can still drive an Audi car in this game, which is great. And you've got all the liveries there that you can obviously mess about with the colours too. Uh, you can change, obviously, your drive and all that. But we didn't bother doing that because I didn't want to waste time. I wanted to just mainly get into the racing and stuff like that. Um, the sticker area, that has to be unlocked later. We will do that. I think we could have probably un already unlocked it now. We just hit 29k. Hey, did we actually? I don't think we were far off, to be fair. Hey, let's go. 29k. Love to see it. Now let's get to 30 before F1 20 free launches. That'd be sick. That will be sick. Thank you, everyone, for your support, guys. Appreciate it. W moments indeed, Zach. Creators release date on the same day. Nice. Gives uh, a level playing field. Yeah, I don't mind it. It gives us a chance to get ahead. I don't really mind it because uh, I'm going to be doing different stuff to, I think, others. Um, and it gives me a chance. I like it because it gives me a chance to get ahead on videos uh, whilst I'm doing a lot of streams uh, over the first week. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good fun. It gives me a chance to get ahead in, in that aspect. Is Classic My Team still in the game? I've yet to see it. It is in the game. We just haven't been able to play it yet. Um, so that'll be played on the release date. And I think we're going to showcase the different licenses. So D, if you're a license level D, you have auto recovery on. You've got no damage. You've got cinematic pit stops and safety cars. And multiplayer, you have player to player collisions disabled. So that means if you are a D level license in F1 world, you cannot go take out people. Like, you can't just troll, you can't just go take out people and enjoy, uh, uh, hurt other people's um, experience. So, uh, yeah, that's what you're going to have for License D. And like I say, all this is going to be available to everyone. If you do other events like League Racing and stuff like that, that's set up, you can, License Level D players can still have player-to-player -player contact. It just depends on what the lobby host sets up. But so if somebody has a License Level D, for example, I could see in future... League racing, for example, saying for a certain league, you have to have these assists off. You know, for, for, for now, you have a league that says this is a no assist league, for example. It might also have a criteria that says and also be a B license, which I think is a good way to kind of make sure you have clean drivers in lobbies and in races. For me personally as well, if you're a D license, I'm probably not going to let you race with us because... How do I know you're not just going to troll people and try and take them out? If all the D-ranked players are gone, then I feel like most of the people on C are either new people getting into the game. That's fine. You know, if you're getting into it and you're, you're, you're learning and you happen to have an incident with somebody, I have incidents with people. You know, it's not a problem. You just apologize. You move on with it. But D, I think, is mainly going to be the drivers that are trying to troll on purpose, trying to take people out on purpose. So um, be wary of what your license is. Um... <clears throat> yeah, C, we've already been to. You've got player-to-player -player coll collisions also disabled. Uh, B is going to be player-to-player -player collisions disabled for the first lap. You've got immersive pit stops, a cinematic uh, safety car. So you can do the pit stops yourself. But the safety car, they will take control of. You've got reduced damage and auto recovery still. And then license level A, you've got uh, on solo, you can use flashbacks. Uh, multiplayer auto recovery will still be on um, for standard damage. Then you've also got immersive pit stop and safety car and multiplayer player to player collisions have been enabled fully. So uh, I'm interested to see how that will work when you're in an online lobby. Because I feel like so if you're in a mixed online lobby, you're going to have some people that are ghosted and some people that are not. It's going to be quite strange to do. I'm looking forward to seeing it. It could be interesting. Um, but yeah, bit of a weird one. But yeah, it could be, could be interesting at the same time. We're going to jump into the Williams. And I think this is one that a lot of people have been waiting for. We're going to jump into uh, some F1 23 at Vegas. Good way to prevent F1 World from really being ultimate team. Easy troll prevention. Exactly. So if you have max level license, can you still use assist? Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. You can still drive at level B if you want to. You just unlock level A. Um, and assist is all up to you. Is Arava your best friend? Arav is a great friend. Of mine, we love. I love playing uh, games with him. And sadly, I don't see him enough. Um, we do the recordings. I saw him Wednesday. Good to catch up with him. Um, but we're both busy people. Um, but yeah, I love hanging out with him. And hopefully, we do more uh, more Arava Hayden Trophy. But I don't think we're going to have time to complete the. Uh, I've never met Webby. I just met Webby once at uh, Goodwood Festival of Speed, but I don't really speak to him. I do. Wanna, I'm going to send him a message, actually, because I do want to do some videos with him. 
uh, from next year. Am I still with Veloce? No. I am not with Veloce. Definitely not. Um, right, Las Vegas. Here we go. I feel like this is something a lot of people have been waiting for. A little bit of Las Vegas footage right now. I believe we do restart a race here. But, um, yeah. Why what, Muhammad? So, this is Las Vegas. 17 turns. 6.1 kilometers. 8 or 3 miles. And obviously, at night it's time. We've got the starting grid. I think I just skipped past this lot because we don't need to see the... Don't need to see all this stuff as well. A little bit. Not with Veloce because... Uh, well, because I'm not. I'm on my own. Why we're not with Veloce? Um, just because they don't really do stuff anymore. They've kind of... Yeah. Best, best, best I don't say anything else, really. If I speak, I'm in trouble. Um, right. We get a collision with Ocon. Bit of bad driving there. We actually get really stuck on drivers here. Not too sure what happened. I think it's because we went four wide. At this point, there's nothing I can do. I'm being driven into by AI. I don't know what was going on. And then we kind of sort ourselves out. We're thrown out wide. And we get put to the back. And I think at one point, I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to restart this. Uh, this track is made for Red Bull with a straight forward. It's Matt 212. Why are you asking me if everyone's my friend? Yes, we are all friends in this community. Uh, why you got objectives? Because you get objectives in every single race that you do. And if you beat those objectives, you're going to unlock more goals. And unlock more upgrades for your uh, F1 world. That was mainly down to the brakes. That corner is, shouldn't be that difficult when we actually play it. Uh, but my brake was very, very sensitive. And every time I braked, I'd just be stuck in a straight line. Which is really annoying. I have taken Joe. Straight line speed is just insane around this track. Uh, this corner is actually more difficult than I thought. If you turn in too late, you are going to get slung out wide. Again, not very good on the brakes here. This one, you can actually cut quite a bit on the inside. Debris ahead. No, he's behind me, actually. He's behind me now. Okay, not a great start, but let's get back on track. Sonoda is ahead. And we're going to overtake him down the Las Vegas Strip. Honestly, I think they've done an amazing job with this. Like, it actually looks really good. Like, Vegas, the lights. Like, I don't feel like it's doing it justice on this stream. Because, one, I'm probably not uh, uh, streaming in the best quality for you guys uh, to see it as well as I saw it when you actually play in the game. But also because of the stuttering, because of the recording, sadly. But it looks so good. Hey, AJ, how are you doing? Thank you very much, Mike, for the sub. If you are new around here, make sure you hit that sub button. And also, make sure you hit the like button on the stream as well. And then, then we, uh, yeah, we, um, we broke a little bit later than the other driver. This was quite interesting. If you restart the session... Your license will still be affected by incidents you were evolved in before. So because I took out people and I got penalties and I got warnings and stuff like that, that's still going to transfer. So I can't just go, oh, I'm going to take out this person and I'm going to restart the race. It's fine. I'm, my license is still going to get hurt for that. So um, it's something to keep an eye on. Something to keep an eye on. Uh, this track was laser scanned. Not laser scanned. It was, it was made by pictures... And okay, it was built up from there. It was a laser scan. P9, better, please. Red Bull only, but at least we saw the fool. What do you mean? At least we saw the fool. I'm subbed. Thank you very much, Random Vids. Right, okay. Let's try this again. Uh, this is me playing, but this was from last week. So this is my footage of me playing from last week. So here we go. We're going to go around the outside of turn one this time. Uh, not get caught up with AI. And then they drive through me. We overtake here Gazi. And we're ahead of our objective now. Which is what obviously is going to get us a lot of rewards. Gazi comes back at us. But we do manage to fend him off. And hold the position. Sergio Perez up ahead. They all go really defensive on the inside. This is just a your bog standard street circuit. 90 degree right. Quite easy to make an overtake. Usually around the outside. Um, but I feel like in online it's going to be a bit more difficult. This is a tricky corner. Um, I want to try it when I actually have my own rig and see how I can go through there. But you are breaking constantly around a corner with a wall there. Makes it a lot harder. This one's quite nice. You just kind of open up a, a hairpin. It's quite easy to do. When does the game come out? Next Tuesday. Which AI is this? I don't actually know what AI this was. No. You can still take people out for fun on multiplayer. But if you need to turn off the effects license um, option, which uh, is an option in the game. So you can still do it, but if you want to do it in F1 World, 
it is going to affect your license. Are you planning to going to any events this year, such as Silverstone or anything? I do want to try, but at the moment, I haven't got an invite, so nothing at the moment. This track would be good for no rules. Potentially. There's some good wall riding and maybe some oversending. Could be quite fun. After doing Singapore, nothing is off the cards, in all fairness, in terms of no rules races. As you can see, flying through the field. I really like the corner okay, before fine, this. Fine. The little triple chicane. That was actually really enjoyable. How are other people like us playing? Uh, so, I got to go to an event with EA and got to play the game early, record some footage, and showcase it for you guys at home. Do I think the license system is strict enough? We will see. I I won't know until we're at least a month in on, on, of the game. Okay. We won't know till then. Uh, yes, Spain is updated. We did that earlier. Feel free to watch the stream back later to uh, see that. And now we're going to get on the back of Lewis Hamilton. Uh, it's going to be an easy overtake. I'm going to a trip through Europe. What tracks are you going to go to then? Uh, if you're going for a trip through Europe. So that's something I'd love to do. Who is in first? Uh, well, Lewis, Lewis Hamilton. He's right there. The stroll turn into science? Probably. Oh, Lewis. And now we're going to overtake. We're going to go through the right. Long right. Keep it nice and tight here. As you can see, we got the line completely wrong there. And it, sh it sort of slung us out wide. Again, got it wrong here. Lewis dives up the inside. We try to go for a little bit of a switchback move. Doesn't quite pay off. As you can see, you can cut that quite a lot. I got tickets for Silverstone and Hungary. Both great circuits. Silverstone. Um, go da go to every grandstand on the Friday. If, you if you're there for the Friday, go check out every grandstand on the Friday. It's definitely worth it. And then uh, Hungary is a really good place to go to as well. Really enjoyable. And this is the corner I really enjoy. End of the strip. Hard on the brakes. Use all the curb on the left and on the right. I feel like with a setup, it's going to be a lot easier to get through there. The curbs are in annoying positions. I wish they were a little bit closer to the walls. I think it would be a lot nicer and a lot more flowy to drive through there. But also a bit faster and maybe not great for overtaking. That was a little bit of a corner cut. I'm going to ignore that. First corner cut of F123. I'm going to still stay from Thursday until Monday. Nice. Do you know if you can pre-download the game before Tuesday? I don't know. I don't know that, actually. Not too sure. I presume so, because most games you can, but they're locked, aren't they? Until midnight. So, yeah, I don't know. How many days till release? It's literally a week tomorrow. Ah, uh, we get a little bit of a spin there. A bit too much throttle out the corner. I don't have money. I've never been to an F1 race. One day, maybe. One day. One day you can get to a race. It's definitely an experience I recommend to people if they can afford going to. But unfortunately, yeah, it is getting more and more expensive. If you're close to a racer, race like uh, Hungary, sometimes it's actually cheaper. Like, for example, I could go to maybe Budapest, fly to Budapest, go to the Grand Prix there, get a ticket. And it'd probably be cheaper than getting a weekend ticket for Silverstone, which is just a drive away. I don't know about Singapore, sadly. Big band... For Big Bang Forever, thank you very much. And Radio Check as well. Thank you very much for the subs, guys. Bahrain. Bahrain is a good track to go to. On PlayStation, you can download it before it's out, but you can't play it. Yeah, I think they, they do that for most games and most platforms, to be fair. Alonso overtakes Lewis Hamilton for P2. Look at that. And we are Alex, Al Alex Albon. We've tagged the wall a little bit there, but that's okay. Hello, Ronnies. How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Hope you're well, Ronnies. I only had to pay for the tickets for F1 in Hungary. Nice. Okay, well done. That's three clean laps in a row. And there we go. Three clean laps. That's going to affect our license. Going to make it better for us. Is Silverstone the most expensive? I'm guessing Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas definitely takes over. I think Las Vegas, Miami, those ones are probably the most expensive. The cheapest ticket for an F1 race is 250 It's in Bahrain, I think. Really? I want to say that Hungary is cheaper. And I also want to say that... that, that um, that's, that spa is cheaper. Spa's a great one to go to for cheapness. Like, when I went to spa, I took the ferry over there. We drove, camped, and then watched for the race weekend. And I'm pretty sure that would have been cheaper, all of that together, than going to Silverstone for a weekend ticket. Who is driving? I'm driving. Just not right now. This was, uh, this was a week ago. Says Gedi. Thank you very much for the sub. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. For F1 2020, I got the game four days before it was officially released. Some places you can get it, which is sick. 
when you get like physical copies of the game. I remember I used to do that as well. I think like F1 2016, I think I got a couple of days early. Monaco 2. Monaco. Monaco, I wouldn't say is massively expensive in all fairness. Monaco is... It's not the cheapest races, but it's still not like out there compared to like Las Vegas and stuff like that. Do you watch F2 when I can, but not often? I think Austria has cheap tickets. I think Austria's a good one to go to as well. Right, one more lap of Vegas. Definitely an enjoyable track, I think. I think it is a good track in all fairness. There's not a lot to it. So it, there's not going to be a lot of... Um, a lot. Qatar and Vegas, they're very different. Qatar is literally got to be on it. And you're looking for precision and shaving off thousands, pretty much. Whereas this one is all about breaking at the right point, getting the car turned in and on the throttle. Whereas Qatar is about lifting. Do I go 80% throttle through here? All of that sort of stuff. It's a really, really good circuit. We're going to get to that later on. Uh, I don't. I think it's actually the next thing I do um, after we get back to the menus. Monza is also cheap. Monza is cheap, but not great as a track to go to. I don't think. I think it's the, the accessibility there isn't great. I wanted to come to my home country in South Africa. Hopefully one day. Hopefully one day F1 races there again. Can you break your front wing? Uh, we You can on the game, yes. And we make a little bit of a mistake there. We break a little bit too much. We just do the typical F1, spin the car back around, and we get auto recovery anyway, so it's fine. We didn't really lose out from that. I love the Qatar track. Honestly, I think it might become my favorite track. I don't know how racing is going to be like around there. I reckon that you can make some really insane overtakes around there if you pull one off. Uh, overtaking will be difficult, but a hot lap around there. Oh, it's going to feel so, so good. Hmm. The Rev Man on the straight. The Revs are insane. Absolutely insane. One day is 169. Three day is 500. Which track is that? I went to Miami GP. It was a fun experience. Way too expensive though. Yeah, I imagine. It's not a world championship if you don't get it, Africa. We need a race in Africa. I'm more excited okay, for Qatar than Vegas. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm exactly the same. I'm exactly the same. Vegas, for me, going to be enjoyable. Going to be something I'm looking forward to doing races with you lot on. Uh, making some massive straight line speed overtakes. But, yeah, I think my heart is definitely with Qatar. For sure. For sure. Silverstone Hayden. Ah, yeah. Disgusting prices, honestly. Honestly. I went to Qatar recently and it's such a nice country. A place I would like to go. I'd like to go to the uh, Qatar GP, to be fair. And just uh, experience it. I think it's a different experience. Just seeing what different cultures are like. Like when I was out in Bahrain and when I was out in Abu Dhabi. Um, didn't really get a chance to explore too much around there. It's bad the Las Vegas circuit with not a lot of corners. It's mostly consistent straights. Yes. When you start sim racing with a wheel slash cockpit and at first how difficult was it? So I started racing with a wheel first in 2015. And it took me a while to get used to it all first. It took me a good fair few weeks of like constantly sweating the game to try and just handle traction. Even now I still make mistakes with traction. But consistency is a lot better. It just takes time and practice. Are you from South Africa? I am not, no. Next year I might go to Hungary. Good track. I was going to press uh, advance on my wheel then. On average, Hungary is the cheapest of all this year, and Vegas the most expensive. Is F1 World basically an ultimate team? I don't think so. I don't. I think everyone's using the ultimate team tag as like a clickbait title. Ultimate team is you know building a team. You don't just have a car and go right. I've got. I've unpacked this card of Lewis Hamilton. That I'm going to put in this team. I've unpacked Toto Wolf, who's going to be my Principal, I've unpacked um, whoever Max Verstappen's race engineer is. He's going to go as my race engineer. It's nothing like that. You get parts, you upgrade your car. As I said, I see it more like Call of Duty. It's more like a Call of Duty aspect that when you level up, you're, you have access to upgrades, which in theory will make you quicker, but you still have to be a good player at the game to take advantage of that. 
Uh, again, just showcasing the licenses. D, C, B, and A. Um, and difficulty. So I think we try. I think we go to Qatar. And this is the difficulty. So I'm going to pause it here. You have your... So the AI difficulty is set. It's set to 35 for this series because we are in the very early stages of the series. Uh, G yes, that's it. That is Verstappen's engineer. Gian Piero Lambassi. Is that, a, I think that's how you pronounce the name. Qatar is a great in MotoGP for racing, but it will flop in F1. I think, I think it won't be great for racing, but I think it will be great for hot lapping. And I personally don't mind that because if you have cars that are close together, that are finding it difficult to overtake, but are looking at opportunities for moves, that's good racing. It's not, a good racing isn't just DRS overtake job done. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we got an overtake, you know. The most ever overtakes in a race is at the Chinese Grand Prix in 2016. Does anyone really remember that race as being a, the best race ever? No. Overtakes don't mean anything. Uh, move the cam. Uh, yes. Sorry, uh, doctor. I will do that for you. Uh, I'll move it quickly. So we have here, we've got the AI difficulty, which is 35. So it's set because we're in the early stage of the series. I think everyone's going to have that. As you improve your tech level, this is going to get harder. As you unlock more series, it's going to get more difficult. Uh, but you do have this tech level modifier. So it's going to add. So I think, I can't remember what it was. I think it was like 110, maybe 130 is what it's set at. It's going to make the tech level higher. So we're going to bump it all the way up to 100, I think. Which is going to make it tech level like the cars are going to be like 230. So technically they're going to have quicker cars than we have. So it's going to make the difficulty higher. That's kind of your difficulty level as well as the AI level. Um, and if you beat a higher tech level, you're going to get more rewards for that. So it's definitely worth doing as we go into well, Spain. On, okay, this one is. So we jumped into the OSD one. We were just showcasing this one. We're not going to do the full 35% race because it is um, a 35%. What does your tech level start at? So your tech level will start at 100. And it basically is a non-upgraded Williams. That is what your car is going to be. As you unlock upgrades and improve your tech level, it's going to get quicker. Just like you would have in career mode. And the cap at the moment is 1000 that's the highest you can upgrade your car on tech level at the end of each season that cap level is going to go up so say it's 1000 for season two it could be 1500 it's going to go up uh, and as you can see the formation laps and all that sort of stuff are simulated for us so we don't have to do them i do wonder with, the, with, with these ai names whether we're going to be able to race against our friends on steam and ea because that'd be quite cool is this my team no this is like online my team. That's how I would put F1 World. It's, it's like my team, but online. You still have my team offline. But if you want an online version, that's what this is. Do you have a video of your current wheel setup? I need some ideas on new sim rig. I have a Fanatec CSO Elite um, wheel and pedals with a carbon rim. Look, Mark, no OSD. Exactly. They just have a gimmicky sort of uh, challenge every week. That they uh, try and get you to partake in. Uh, and if you complete it, you're going to get quite a bit of rewards. Especially for like a 35% race. You also get lap bonuses as rewards. So doing a 35% race, you're going to get that. Of course, we've got no S OSD. So we don't have a chance to probably look at uh, what lap we're going to be on. But it's just, you know, you're just racing with no S OSD. It's kind of a bit more like real life. What do we think about the look of the game as well, guys? In terms of the, the colours. I think it looks a lot better. It looks a lot more realistic to me. In all fairness. Does FPS affect curves like an F122? I haven't been able to try that out in all fairness. I hope not. I hope they have managed to fix that. But I don't know. Uh, looks really good. Crossplay should work. It should do. 35% race. Yeah, we don't do the full 35% race. Uh, I think we do like a couple of laps of it. Just to showcase this uh, challenge. And then that's it. Hi, Brandon. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to everybody who's jumped in. New, checking this out for the first time. If you are new around here and you want to click that subscribe button, please do so. It does help me out. And as well, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit a like on the stream. We are on currently 158. Let's get to 200. We can do it, chat. 200 likes. Come on. Do you think it's worth it to buy a budget wheel or just a controller? I personally, it's a racing game, will always say, you know, you're only going to get the full experience from playing on a wheel. And if you want that full experience, definitely try and get yourself a wheel at any level and build up from there. But if you can't afford it, you can still have a good fun experience on a controller for sure. But um, yeah, I mean, I've got this right here and I love like 
I could never go back to a controller after using this. Like, it's just so much fun. I will always have a steering wheel. Forever. <laughs> um, and there we go. We're changing the camera settings. See how it looks in copy cam. So, obviously, you, you have all your information. So, doing the OSD one, I think it kind of, like... It wants to kind of force you to drive in cockpit cam. I don't know what's going on with the AI up ahead. I think it's because I'm level D. So player to player collisions is off. Because um, I think technically this is maybe an online uh, event. So uh, yeah. I think maybe for this one. I don't know whether it's a single player or it's a multiplayer. The way that they're throwing this. I don't actually know. But uh, that'd be interesting when this is released. Because obviously there's... We couldn't play online. There's not other people playing online with us. No one else got the game. Uh, but you have all your information on screen, on the LED. You have your uh, your bonuses. You have activated. That they're on screen as well. You can see when they're active. Uh, if you know what bonuses you have, it's a lot easier then with no OSD. Obviously, you've got your tire temps, your overtake, how much battery you have left, how much you're harvesting, how much you've used per lap. You've got your delta. You've got how many laps you're on. You've got what position you're in. And as you can see, we got over cocky. We thought, oh yeah, we can bump up the difficulty. It's AI 35. We can bump this up 100 tech level. And we are actually struggling against the AI uh, in this position. So we, in all fairness, went a little bit too high. And maybe should have pulled it back down a little bit. So those two are fighting up ahead of us. Is the Halo blocking your vision? Not really for me. I could probably drive in this camera with a uh, Halo on. Um, and then we're just going to retire from session. And quit back to main menu. Because uh, we, we this is a 35% race. We weren't doing a 35% race. I don't want to waste my time on that. When I can go and do stuff like I'm going to do next. Which is a lap around Qatar. Uh, we start off doing a race. And then we quickly realise that we don't actually know where we're going with Qatar. So uh, we then jump on to try and learn it. Uh, so you can watch me learn Qatar for the first time. How much lap time on average can you gain by turning off a system like ABS and traction control? I don't know. Because in all fairness sometimes you can actually gain with assists on which isn't right shouldn't be allowed but it does how it works sometimes and even though we didn't complete the event we got a gearbox upgrade and we got 600 cash now this is something else that's going to be in, in introduced to the game you've got goals so we've got a lot more goals down below the goals were in the game before they were there um but you didn't really look at them too much you didn't really try and achieve them uh here unlock engineering complete a race with an upgrade or rare quality or higher so we can tick that one off um, unlock vendor goals, which is this part. We'll get onto that in a sec. Uh, complete one race to unlock that. And then unlock the compendium. This is where all your stickers are. We have to complete 15 laps. Uh, we've only done seven so far. So I don't know what Ben Daly was doing. Because uh, I jumped on after him. But I don't get how we've only done seven laps. But that was confusing. And then you've got weekly ones. Drive 100 miles at Spain. Complete a multiplayer Grand Prix five times using the random tracks option. Stuff like that. Uh, is all in there. So we're going to unlock these, and then we're going to show you what the vendor goals uh, are as well. Uh, I show speed. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Um, Mies as well. Welcome. Answer please is the my team. Yes, my team is still there. Don't worry. Don't worry. My team will still be there. Uh, these are all the solo events you can do as well with the solo and a multiplayer. You've got different uh, quick races in different areas of the world uh, that you can go on to. You've also got... Um, arcade race which is just short races still with the pretty hot laps with the supercars scenario mode time trial challenge uh wet weather grand prix it's just a grand prix in wet weather and you've got an f1 world um short championship five races uh so you still have that championship there if you still want to do it i'm gonna get a game but really f1 world doesn't sound interesting to me that's all fine you know there's still other aspects of the game that you can play if you still want to if you still want to play my team if you still want to play online it's all there don't have to worry about it I think more people will warm up to F1 World as they play the game. Um, so it's definitely something I think more people will play. Uh, red flags. I mean, red flags, I think, are going to be a rarity to try and get. But here we go. Qatar. Yes, Mies. How many times do I have to tell you? My team is in the game. This may be one of the best F1 games. What do you think? I think it has potential to be one of the best F1 games. It just depends if they do it right. And I'm optimistic about it. Um, thank you very much. Cl uh, Clunge, Clunge Smurf. What a name. Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome Liam as well. Thank you for the sub as well. Uh, going through the race. Making it dry. Making it realistic. I want to do it at night time. 
and all of that good stuff as well. And let's get into the race at Qatar. Now, we're not going to do too much racing at Qatar. We're going to mainly do time trial because uh, I realized very quickly, I don't know where I'm going at Qatar. Like, I am really good at looking at a track and kind of working out what is coming. So I kind of knew where I was going just from when they raced here in 2020, 2021, 2020, 2021. 2021 i think it was yeah yeah i kind of knew where we were going from there so we're back here the but not the perfectly so i thought okay let's not mess about in a race where i'm going to be crashing into others let's just do learn it properly on um on time trial what ai do i usually run at probably like 100 i think i haven't done much running with ai so i couldn't really tell you in all fairness but um i'm usually an online player <laughs> Do you end up driving the Mercedes in a bit of footage? I don't remember, in all fairness. I actually can't remember if I do any Mercedes running. Um, i trying to think. I think I do some Mercedes running in a video. Uh, if you want to see how that looks from the onboards. Um, as we get a drive through. So we're like, okay, let's uh, restart that session. Um, yeah, I believe we do it in the video of can we win on a controller? We drive the Mercedes. Right, here we go. Qatar race, driving as the McLaren of Lando Norris. Very reflective is the orange um, in this POV. I don't like this camera angle. I can't wait to get my game and change it to the camera angle I like. Heading into the first corner then, we were a little bit cautious. It's a long, flowy right-hander that I feel like you want to get a late apex for. I'm, I still don't know the perfect way around this track. There's different kind of lines you want to take, but I think ultimately there is going to be a... Uh, optimal line in the end. He gets this double right-hander very fast. Very fast couple of corners. When you're in a train, it's going to be a little bit difficult. You've kind of got to back off a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of just following everybody else at the moment. Have a little lunge up the inside into this hairpin. And then get on the throttle. I think it's zoomed in. Right now, it is zoomed in because we are playing on a widescreen at the time. So, um, it was just a rubbish if I zoomed it out. Uh, we get a little warning for track limits there. Hey, is this your gameplay right? Uh, you are playing live. I'm not playing live, but it is my gameplay. Um, I got this from, from, last, uh, from last week. Uh, no, I'm not playing on a controller. This is on a wheel. I'm just... Uh, the wheel isn't very optimized, in all fairness. And as you can see, we're just struggling through the right-handers. Like, here, we're lifting off way too much. We're overextending there. And in a moment, I'm just like, right, okay. What we're going to do is we're just going to... We're going to jump in a time trial. Are they going to change the Mercedes car model, AG the Halo? Um, the model has been changed uh, to what the actual car model was at the start of the season. And then I believe they're going to have an update probably around uh, like a month's time, maybe, for what the new car is. Maybe two months. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing? Welcome. We've got Albon, Hulkenberg all fighting up ahead. But as you can see, starting to kind of work it out a little bit. Maybe not that one. It took me a while to work out that it was a uh, it was a late apex. Is there an anti-cheat in this game? No idea. I've had no information about that yet, unfortunately. I hope so. I do hope so, because it did kind of put the game in a bit of a shadow last year as we uh, mess up there, and then I'm like, all right, okay, this isn't working. I need to learn this track. I want to get back past Joe first. I was like, I'm not letting Joe through. And then he gets past me anyway. Great little switch back there from Joe. Are there any glitches? Not what I found so far. I didn't find any, but obviously I haven't. I haven't really tested the game properly. There's a little bit sometimes with lighting where it goes across the car, but this is still not the released version of the game. This is not how it's going to be. Hi, Mikolaj. You are my you are my favorite as well. Thank you very much, Mikolaj. There is not anti-cheat. That is a shame. Has the warning penalty system been changed any from last year? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's still the same. I don't think there was any problem with the penalty system last year. Sometimes it did give you a bit of rubbish penalties as okay, we get a bit of damage there on the floor damage, from riding a curb too much. And we're like, okay, right. Let's uh, let's go do time trial. It's probably the best. I'm doing good, Ebonino. How are you doing? Uh, what was your problem with the, uh, with the warning slash penalty system last year? I'd just like to know what your... To sort of see if it is different uh, and those parts have been removed. I managed Haas in a league, and in one season, we went from P9 to P4. Nice, nice. I race your F123. That's a tough one. 
I think F1 23. I think F1 games will always have my heart. Uh, we have some upgrades. We have some sponsor. No, not sponsors. We have uh, some a gearbox. Yes, that we can put on and a better one. A 56 uncommon and a 56 rare. And if you look at the look at the common one, it's actually got better weight reduction. So we're like, well, we might as well go with the Commander V1 uh, uncommon version, and then dismantle. I accidentally dismantled the one that I put on. That was bad on me. Um, that was silly of me. Uh, be careful not to do that when you do your own ones. Uh, odd question, but is there more varied engine sounds and replays when the car zooms by? I don't know. I didn't look at that, unfortunately. You could get destroyed by someone, crash down, and get a penalty for it. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to try that stuff out. Right, so you have these things called vendors. You just kind of like buy goals off them and you can just basically dictate it by what you want to do. So, for example... I know that I'm going to jump on Qatar time trial. Uh, what do you record with? This was with OBS, I believe, at the time. You're the best F1 streamer with Arrow. Thank you very much, Eldest Gaming. So, yeah, we have all these goals here. And we can see one straight away that is drive 50 miles in any game mode at Asia or Oceania tracks. Now, um, Qatar falls under that bracket. So, we were like, well, we might as well. What we might as well do is tick off that one. Uh, you can have, I think it's like 15 goals active. So what we could have done at the time as well was uh, done the other two. Uh, done some other ones that would also fit for that. But, um, you know, I'm only trying out little bits and pieces at the moment. Uh, and I think there's other stuff that I, I don't know what I'm looking at now. Uh, just the menus. Just going through any sort of stuff that I can maybe look at. Uh, and then we're like, no, where's time trial? There it is. Go. So as you can see, normal time trials there. If you want to do time trial at any track, it's all there. It's all still here. Um, we're going to go over to Qatar. Jump in there. You are so good at F1 games for real. Thank you very much, MMF1 Edits. Is there new features in career like new base plays, etc.? No idea. We haven't played career. We haven't been able to play yet. Not been allowed to. Uh, so yeah, we're going to jump in Qatar. And then I realized quite quickly, I'm like, no. I want it at night time. And I want the telemetry settings off because uh, they're annoying. I don't like telemetry settings on. I don't know what you guys run with uh, with your time trials. But telemetry settings, that's a big no-no for me. Bro, would you say F123 is better than F1 2020? Ooh. I think it has potential to be better because it has brung in a big game mode like this F1 World. I think F1 2020 introduced us to F1 My Team, which was a huge thing. F1 My Team was great and also had classic cars on there. But if F1 World works, and it works well, then there's potential. Mercedes will be updated later on, for sure. Have you already driven the Mercedes? Yes, we have. But not in this uh, footage here. Right, so Qatar. Let's see what our first lap is like around Qatar. Breaking hard, in between 150 meter ball. I feel like we can go later. I feel like you want a bit more of a later apex to get on the throttle earlier. Again here, we break a little bit too early here. And as you can see, we're like, oh, we've got to get out of the throttle. Because we went too early. Uh, you want to break later, switch it back, get on the throttle. This one, very nice corner, break of the 50. Again, a little bit too slow through there, but you're going to see that we're going to get quicker and quicker and quicker and find the time around there. It's going to be really a really great circuit. Um, and not too many kind of slow speed corners. A lot of them where you're really actually pushing an F1 car. Not just 90 degree corners here and there. Corners that are fast, flowing, great. Uh, through the left and then into the right, this one. I think with a setup, that corner will be flat. It's not flat at the moment. I missed the apex there. Uh, still just trying to learn the circuit. That one, again, you've got to just try and work out the uh, the angle of attack through the corner. And you can really find a lot of time. Again, here. I think that, in all honesty, is just a lift through there. This is pretty much flat. And then this one is almost flat as well. With a setup, they could be flat. If you have the right setup on, they could be flat. Uh, through there as well. Probably almost flat as well through there. Really, really fast corners. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't think it's going to be easy to overtake. There's not many overtaking zones. Plus, it's not like you get down to a slow speed and there's more time in the braking zone to go for a, go for a send. Um, but we can go for a big lunge here, late on the brakes. And again, maybe a little bit too early on the throttle. And then this one here. Avoiding the yellow sausage curves, but you can get a nice line through there. Hey, can you please do braking point, but you have to crash into Devon Butler? Just watch this space, okay? Just watch this space. You are one of the most underrated YouTubers. Michelle. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Would you ever use the racing line to see where braking zone is best? No. I always find personally, I'm going to use no brake, no line either. So I might as well, how I learn tracks is basically, I can show you in a braking zone really. And this is how I learn tracks. And I find if you're racing, if you want to race with no line, it's the best way to do it. Uh, a lot of it is muscle memory. And sometimes you don't have a marker. But a lot of time uh, you do. And marker boards are great. So say, for example, we break heavy into this corner at the 50 meter board. If I've got a line, I'm going to be focusing more on that line and I'm going to be processing two things at the same time. So I'm also trying to look for the line and trying to look for what lines up with where to break, if you know what I mean. So say, for example, that is the breaking point of the 50 meter board. I'm going to be looking at the line and at the 50 meter board at the same time or looking at the environment. Now, when I do it without racing line just straight away, I will take that 50 meter board and I'll go, let's see if I can break there. If I overshoot the corner in time trial, I now know, okay, you can't break at the 50. Let's wind it back a little bit. Let's try and find another marker. Maybe there's, uh, you know, a little bit of a little bit of tire barrier sticking out at a different corner that we can maybe take advantage of or a line on track or something like that. But we can say, okay, that's going to be our break marker board for this corner. Some of them are just like little dabs. It's muscle memory. You have to kind of get used to it. But I always find that this is the better way to learn the track. And you're solely reliant on your memory. And that's why maybe I learn tracks. Like, I, I knew where to go around this track within two laps. Two laps it took me to know where I was going. And that's mainly because I drove it with no line. Because I'm not using a line to tell me there's a right-hander coming next, a left-hander coming next. I know, okay, I need to brake here and turn right. And also, I'm looking at the brake marker boards because they also dictate what the corner is coming up next. So if the corner's... If they're on the left, it's most likely, and the curbing's on the left, it's most likely that the corner next is a right-hander. Can we just go off vision? What do you mean? You really can't crash into Butler. What do you mean? How can I get used to no line? Because I'm struggling. Practice just makes perfect, honestly. Uh, practice makes perfect. And it is, it's like swimming without armbands. you just got to take them off and throw yourself in. Obviously with a supervisor. But um, this you don't need a supervisor. You can just go to see where it's about. Yes, yeah, so you can go off just vision. You can get a feel. You can just, it's memory. You can go, okay, this is probably the right time. But it takes practice to kind of work out where, where it's the best point. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're getting quick. A little bit of an invalidation there. Uh, we go for a 125.5. I think in the end, I get it down to a 23.8. But we do a little bit more around Qatar later on. Just for fun. I feel later on I got all the footage that I needed. So I decided to just do some laps around Qatar. I find when my line accidentally switches off, I'm fine until I realise then I panic. Honestly, a lot of the time you don't need it. Muscle memory helps a massive amount. But also, what helps too is just know where you're going. And using those brake marker boards, for example, to tell you, oh, okay, here or here or here or here. So, yeah. I would never rely on it too much. It's not good to rely on it massively, in all fairness. It's never going to help you. It can help you to start off with, and I, but I'd always feel like racing line is one assist that everyone can turn off. I think Cody's have done a good job and released a game like this, and F1 games will survive much longer than expected. That's my theory. I think they've done a good job of this game. Do you recommend playing on the EA launcher or on PC? I've always been on Steam, so I would have to say Steam, but I don't really know from EA Launcher how good that is. We can take Butler out in Breaking Point 2, but I think it's only in second and third. Okay. I think you can take him out all right. Unless you fully crash him out in the Canada one. Not too sure. A little bit of a mess up there, but as you can see, we're already like six tenths up. We're going to get down into the, uh, the 24s, I think, unless I mess up the next few corners. Again, I feel like I'm breaking way too much into these. And you can just little dab of the brake. It's all you need. A little dab of the brake. Same with this one. Use a lot of the curb. Run it very close on the line there. And it's going to be an 8 tenth improvement at the moment. You want to be closer to the apex there. That wasn't great. But uh, yeah, 7 tenths up. We're into the 24s now. Do you think brake assist helps? My opinion. Brake assist can make you fast. Brake assist, no. ABS, yes. Hey! Yeet! Thank you very much for the super chat. You're my favorite pond driver. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you so much. Um, one tenth up there after the first couple of corners. The EA launcher is not that good. Okay, then I recommend Steam. Is there going to be DLC track like Istanbul, Malaysia? I'm praying, but I'm not holding my breath for it. Uh, I think they've made two tracks coming into this game. So making another one might not be the case, sadly. And it also comes down to licensing too and stuff like that. So not too sure. Really enjoyable circuit though, Qatar. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, what do we think of Qatar so far? Evie's just going crazy in the background. It's okay, Evie. It's okay. Do you think this game is going to be easier on controller for this game? I think so, because I think uh, the traction's more forgiving. You can only take Butler out on the second and third. Ah, okay, that's fair enough. That is fair enough. They asked the question, what did you ask? What did you ask, Yeet? Not on the super chat, they just said, oh, what's your favourite driver? I thought you said my favourite, I'm your favourite driver. Okay, sorry. Uh, my favorite driver, Lance Stroll. Uh, and then that was it. We, we, we got a uh, purple lap time and we were like, okay, that will do for now. Um, Lance Stroll, Lando, George, Lewis. Main ones, Joe. But there's not really anyone I don't like on the grid. I kind of, I kind of like everyone, but I'd say those ones probably, maybe I, I root for more. Definitely root for more. Definitely Lance Stroll. I was cheering when he overtook and got into third and then was sad when he... Uh, Drop back down. Uh, can I see your dog? Yes. Evie. Evie. Evie, come. Evie, come in. Evie, come in. Come on. She's, she's sleepy. Come on. Evie, come in. Evie, come in. Even just doing time troll there, as you can see, I'm hoping that we can... Uh, Evie, come here. What are you doing? Please don't break. No, it didn't break. Okay. Even just doing time trial... Uh, you get back a little bit as well. Come here, Evie. Back racing again. Here we go. Look, Evie is our new star driver. <laughs> Can you see yourself? <laughs> oh. And she's gone. I think somebody's just come home. <laughs> uh, she's taken over. Evie has taken over the stream. Um, yeah. So you have even just doing time trial, which isn't in the F1 World Car. It's just away from it. I still got cash there. Sorry, I, I skipped way too quickly. I'm hoping that it still plays. Nope, I've broken it again. Right, I will I will get this and I will showcase it. Do I like Max Verstappen? In times, yes. In times, I don't. Like, off track sometimes. When he's streaming and he's doing the stuff with Team Redline, he's, he's enjoyable to watch. Um, when the helmet's on, sometimes it's a bit like... Mm. So, yeah. Sometimes. Right, where were we? Right, let's try and pause it. Let's see if I can pause it. My dog is just too big. Would not fit on stream. <laughs> uh, what's the best part about this game? Best part about this game? Qatar. I, honestly, I love Qatar so much. I'm actually really going to enjoy this, this, this track. Um, I don't know though. We'll have to wait and see uh, a month in. Like I say, it's going to take a month really to figure out what's been good, what's what's not been great on this game. Right, let's see if we can pause this quick enough. Right, okay. So as you can see, we get cash even just for doing time trial, which wasn't related to F1 World. Like it wasn't an F1 World version of time trial. It was just time trial. Um... So nothing to do with F1 World, and that's going to be the same. I don't think you'd get other rewards like um, I don't I don't know what you would get in my team. I think you would still get some rewards or at least XP for the pit lane pass, which I will show in a minute. Um, but you get this for just doing time trial, which is great. So you can do your time trial, and you're still going to progress in um, F1 World, which is great. Uh, so you get cash, and you're also going to get I think that's a, an engine part that's great as well. Uh, I think Qatar need to change the layout because in IRL, this track is real. This layout is not for F1 cars. In-game, of course, it's good, but in, it's really bad. In reality, it's bad. We'll wait and see. Obviously, we, I want to see how it copes with this season's cars. Um, you know, Spain's not really been notorious for having great racing. But I think there were good battles around Spain this year. I think just that one change of the chicane actually, in all fairness, improved the track. 
you know, and with these cars, both came together and it worked. So maybe Qatar could still be an enjoyable race, you know. So let's wait and see. In game, yeah. In game, it's like France is a good track in game. France is actually an enjoyable track to drive and good one to have battles on in game. But in the real world, we all know that it's not maybe the best. Um, so we're going to have a few upgrades to put on our cars. So we've got a, a power unit, an R&D head, another power unit, a sponsor, and another power unit. So uh, let's upgrade those. Let's upgrade our cars. So we got all these unlocked at the moment. And we're going to put uh, probably that epic one. That's 161. Gives us ERS efficiency and a weight reduction when starting in the top 10. So a little bonus as well. Uh, and we can dismantle all these pieces. But we'll do that another time. We've also got an R&D head. Now, this is where you get the contract. So you assign him a contract. And that's going to give you an extra bonus as well. So all of these have their own little bonuses. The main guy has his own bonus. Engine power for 60 seconds after fastest X or 1. And bonus XP for wet events level 1. Uh, and then the contract gives us bonus XP for low wear uh, tire events. We've also got uh, bonus XP for Europe events and bonus XP for low wear tire events at uh, level two. So lots of sort of stuff. Do I like Kevin Maxson? Yes. Weird that his face changed after we selected somebody else. That was a bit strange. Uh, we've also got sponsors. Again, these are going to give you bonuses and the contracts will give bonuses as well. So we assign a contract and that's going to give us cash bonus when starting in the top 10. Stuff like that. It's all going to be helpful uh, to your F1 World career. F1 World looks way better than I thought it would be. I'm excited for it now. Can you play offline? Yes, you can play offline. There are series events for offline that we showcase at the start. And if I'm not mistaken, China, Portugal is like last year's game. Free DLC tracks. Yes, it is. It's in the game from launch as well. Uh, interesting as well. So we're going to show this. I'll show the other bit that I was going to go on in a sec. But uh, podium pass uh, for this year's game. So pretty much the same as last year. You have the bog standard part of the podium pass you also have the paid uh vip version of the podium pass which you're going to purchase through pick coins i don't know um how much it is through pick coins sadly um but you we can claim all these different events uh as well all the stuff that we've unlocked so we're quite high all this stuff you're going to get you're going to get customizable items you do also get tie wear data uh, i think this is a random uh, upgrade, I believe this one is that you're going to get. Pit coins. So in all fairness, those of you who have the Champions Edition, and I say this tip every single year, okay? Do not bother spending your coins on customizable items because you're going to get those probably anyway from the pit lane pass. If you use your points to buy the VIP pass, you're going to get them back. Whatever it costs. I think it was like 9,000 in last year's game. And if you play the game enough and you get to level 30, which it was on last year's game, even if you get to level 25, I think it was, you're still going to get 9,000. I think it was like 12,000 total across the season. 10,000 if you maybe missed the last one back, which still gives you 1,000 profit. So you can continuously never have to buy. Of course, if you've got the bog standard game, this might be difficult for you. You may have to spend, if you do want the VIP pass, you don't have to have it. Um, it's like most games now. They have a VIP pass, they have a battle pass, whatever. Um, but if you do have the Champions Edition, you can buy the VIP, play the game like you normally do, unlock back the pit coins, and then you can buy it again for the next year uh, or for the next season. So that's good. Uh, emote stuff like that you get upgrades in the standard version key insight or critical insight there which is actually quite good 50 critical insight is a lot um another upgrade helmet i don't know what this one is actually i don't know what this one is this might just be like a random helmet design you could potentially get because uh, it's got the question marks this could be like a random part uh that you get uh obviously more customizable items stickers voice uh, when you cross the line and win more stuff that you can redeem there. Gloves. Random stuff. Uh, all again, just going through. Sponsors. All of these as well. You know, the sponsors, the emotes, the customizable items. All going to be used for my team, Crew Mode 2. It's just the same as last year. Again, look, you got more pit coins there. Also, it's been expanded this year. You don't just have the 30 levels. It goes all the way up to 50 this year. I think that's because most games have a bigger battle pass. And I think a lot of people were completing it by the end. Um... We're flying through it now just to get through as much as possible. 
Um, and then right to the end, I'm going to try and pause it if I can. If we, I don't think we've missed it. So here, you get a team principal, which is Franz Tost. And it's going to give you 25% fuel efficiency. You also get, we missed it. I've got to pause at the right time. You also get Gun Gunther Steiner, um, which is quite cool. So he could be your, your team principal in the game. Uh, so definitely something to aim for if you want to try and get the high pass. Will you show us? Will I show you what? Um, uh, so yeah, that, that is the uh, podium pass. It's not the pit lane pass. It's the podium pass. Why do I keep calling it the pit lane pass? The podium pass. Welcome back, Seb. Uh, yeah, Gunther Steiner is there. So you can have him as your uh, guy. Uh, in terms of like pay to win and stuff like that, we've claimed all of our... That's what we just did. We just claimed all of our stuff there. Um, as you'll be able to see in a sec. I don't know how much the uh, VIP passes this year. Um, store. It might show us in here, in all fairness. But in terms of, like, pay to win and stuff like that, it's not really there. Like, you can upgrade your car maybe quicker by getting more XP, but that's only going to unlock more stuff from the podium pass. So you have to actually play the game to unlock that stuff. Uh, the other thing you can do is buy the VIP access to the podium pass again you have to play the game to get the benefit of getting that so it's not like oh i can go on fifa and i can just spend loads on fifa points and then open as many packs as i want when team of the season's about and i get a 99 rated level uh tebow courtois you know it's not like that you can't just not play the game and have a fully maxed out car it's never going to happen you have to actually play the game to progress so there's no pay to win at least what i've experienced from it so far there's no such thing as loot boxes i don't think they're going to be bringing loot boxes in we'll have to wait and see interestingly on store it had like cars so i don't know if that's going to be supercars badges and cars i wish i looked at that we'll, we'll look at that more when the game's dropped um and yeah so that's uh, that's everything there We've got 10 new items available. So we've got all this sort of stuff here. We're going to skim through. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. I joined back. Love vids. Glad to have you back. Hey, Noah. Hey, Doplexity. Hey, do you know when this game will come out to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate? No idea. You asked me the wrong question there, my dude. Uh, and I believe in a minute we're going to actually create a part. And that's what we could do using all the bits that are on the side here not these bits here um i think i changed it and then i was like no it's gone down uh, all these bits here you can use to make a better part you got 29k i didn't realize yeah we did we're already i think nearly on 29.1k which is mad could be on 30k before uh, f120 free releases which would be amazing if we could do that that'd be absolutely incredible um yeah i think in, the, in a minute we're going to showcase uh putting that together just going through the rest of our car. We're just upgrading it as much as possible. And as you can see, our tech level has gone up because of it. We're now 154 on the tech level. Then we've got the strategy, the strategist. Uh, we've got some bonus contracts for him. And we're just like, okay, yeah, this one would do. Um, and then that puts us to 162. Uh, and then I think we're like, let's go do some races again. As you can see, the problem with upgrading your car too early, though, is things are going to get easier, especially in the series. Because I don't think you can level up the ai here i couldn't see a difficulty setting it's just set to what it is sadly so we jump into this australia race and our car is way too developed for what the other guys are what is your favorite f1 game of all time f1 race stars and we're going to be doing that on wednesday uh will the ai drivers be replaced with online drivers in online yes in the series, no, but I'm hoping they're replaced with driver names from your friends list. Uh, but they still have AI next to them. But I don't know. I didn't actually ask that question. Um, so yeah, here we go at Australia. Now, things that we're going to showcase in this Australia race are the goals and the bonuses and how they work during a race. So obviously, we've upgraded every aspect of our car. Not fully. Obviously, we're miles off. We're still less than 200. Um... But as you can see, because we have the best tech level, we're put to the front, which is a little bit annoying. I don't know what I'm changing here. Um, ah, okay. So I was going through racing line. Because this is an Australia mastery challenge, 
This is all about learning how to drive that racing line. So it's slowly teaching you to take off racing line. So the first one I think Ben did had racing line. I'm on the second one. Now it's just got racing line for the corners. The third one is going to have no racing line. And it's all about beating the objective. If you beat the objective, you move on basically. And I asked you a while ago, how's your mental health going? Always support you, brother. Good. Good. I'm enjoying what I'm doing here. Um, and I'm still trying to work on having a good work-life balance. But uh, other than that, you know, things are going well. I think the only thing that is missing in F123... Exi yeah, exactly. I think... I think it is. I think, again, it comes down to licensing. I think when EA took over... They were probably just like, yeah, we don't want to pay for this. We don't want to pay for this licensing. Which is a shame. Because I think it could have definitely worked. And I think, it, in all fairness, they probably could have got money out of us. I think people are more likely to pay money for classic cars than they are for, like, customizable items, in all fairness. <coughs> so it's a bit of a shame. And then that would balance out the licensing fee. If they're, It's the same with classic tracks as well, yeah. If, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, we have to pay this much. You're like, sell it for five a DLC. We're going to pay that. And you're going to make your money back. Maybe even profit off it, you know. So, amazing news, indeed. How do you save your tires whilst racing fast? Um, don't be as aggressive. So, here you go. The bonus pops up at the bottom. You can see it on your MFD. Now, plus 17 downforce for 60 seconds. After a clean lap. So every time we do a clean lap, we'll get 17 downforce. And we're going to go through sector 1. We're going to get the fastest sector 1 here. And that is going to give us plus 18 engine power. So as you achieve these during the race, you're going to get quicker. These gimmicks I don't really like. Um, because I just feel like what you upgrade your car should be fine enough. Not just give you like an extra sort of bonus during the race. But they're there. You're, I'm going to utilize them. I'm going to exploit them for all their worth you've also got at the moment 25 cent uh plus 25 drag reduction for 90 seconds when at 10 cent tire wear and uh plus 25 drag reduction uh weight reduction for 90 seconds when at 10 cent tire wear now this race is too short we don't actually get to 10 cent tire wear but uh that is basically it was at school and i'm not feeling too good i hope you feel better soon uh Cra gaming for you hayden what is the best f1 game from these three, F1 2020, F1 2022, or F1 23. I haven't played F1 23, so I'm not going to include it in that because I haven't played it, but definitely F1 2020. Uh, I'm excited for F1 23, but I haven't played it enough to say. And if I were to say F1 23 now, I'd be lying because I don't. I haven't played it enough. I don't know. I'd just be selling you guys. I don't want to lie to you and sell you things and, and have you guys think that, you know, I'm just saying these things because obviously EA invited me down. I'm not just going to praise their game because of that, I will say what I think. And I will say, you know, if I don't agree with stuff, for example, the bonuses on the right, I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't think it was that great as a thing to implement, but it is what it is. You know, they're in there. I'm still going to use it. This car right, upgrade system will affect... No. No. Online leagues, my team, driving offline, you can still do all of that stuff. It won't be affected. Uh, this is something that's separate, but you can still earn rewards for driving online in, in uh, League Race, I believe. So it won't affect it. It's not like, oh, somebody, you haven't bothered playing any F1 world. You jump into your league and somebody's got a level 1000 tech level and you've got a level 100. Um, it's not going to affect the two. Uh, you'll, just, you'll still have all equal cars and stuff like that. I never play offline. Fair. Well, you can do this stuff online as well. It's just we're doing the offline stuff because uh, we didn't have other people online with us uh, to play it. Okay, well done. That's yeah, it's not fully built. I forgot to write F123, uh, but not fully built. Hey, which mode will you play first, F123? F1 World is basically F1 Mobile, but upgraded. I never played F1 Mobile, too fair. And I think I'm getting midfield member today. How do I do it on phone? I don't know because I haven't signed up to a midfield member because my channel. Uh, we're going to skip past all this stuff, though. Because uh, this is just... We've seen this gameplay. It's, it's Australia. It is what it is. And we're going to get into uh, whatever it is. I don't think it likes when you skip. Uh, so, here's all the other stuff that we've unlocked from that. So, we're putting on the car. And now, we are going to look at uh, actually building our own stuff. So, you can go to engineering. I was trying to look at how to do that. Compendium. 
celebration of you just get stickers if that's all it is it's just stickers it tells you stuff about formula one it tells you stuff about drivers there's 130 stickers to complete and as you get them you get more rewards for f1 world it's worth just ticking off it's not something that's going to become your whole life it's something that i'm definitely going to try and see how quickly i can complete it for sure um but I won't worry about it too much. I won't be like, oh my god, what's this? The best stickers in the game. This is rubbish. This is naff. This probably took minimal time and effort. Um, but yeah, you have all these and then you just find them in the sticker book. Uh, and you sometimes get duplicates. And I believe duplicates can be used to engineer stuff. If you get duplicates. Uh, but you can go through that. You've got entry rewards. So you get rewards. So for this, you get setup data, insight. Uh, I can't remember what that one is. And XP. So you get lots of stuff from it. I think that was a sponsor that you got from that one. That one's a principal, a team principal, I believe. So you get that from that. I think that might be Christian Horner as a reward, maybe. Or maybe they'll become later on uh, in the past. Uh, yeah, so just unlocking stickers. That's all it is. You unlock stickers, you get rewards. Uh, and I think we get a double os We are one later. It's like Cap Capaccio... In I don't know what I don't know what you mean like that. Because if you had 1,000 and the other driver had 100, you'd cross faster than the others. Exactly. So it wouldn't be fair for online leagues. Uh, so yeah, this is where you can engineer your own car parts. So say for example, you're like, okay, I've collected so much here. Like we've got 41k. We've got lots of insight, lots of critical insight, lots of key insight, all of that stuff, lots of data. Uh, no duplicate stickers, unfortunately, but lots of that stuff. I can go right. Okay, this is lacking. This is kind of the lowest on the gearbox. So let's engineer ourselves a gearbox. Um, and you can have a look. You don't unfortunately get to see what the tech level is. But you can engineer whether you get an uncommon, a rare, an epic, or a legendary. The higher you get, the better it's probably going to be. I haven't tested this out yet. We'll have to wait and see when the game actually is available. So I can test it. But there we go. Look at that. We've got a 195 tech level gearbox. Which would be the highest thing on the car. And we'll put our car up to... Uh, an average of 168. Obviously, it's only one thing that's 190. The rest are 160, so it's not going to go up massively, but it is there. Um, so, what do we do next? I can't remember. Uh, we're just showcasing all the stuff. I think we go back to Australia. Again, doing some more races around here. I can't remember what challenge this one was, but um, just driving around as the Alpha Tauri. Trying to beat the objective. Nice I think this one might be the mastery or might be the street circuits. I can't, I can't actually remember. I think it might be the street circuits. Makes the game unfair for people with different skill gaps. Exactly, exactly. Say you have never played the game and Yano Watme is in your lobby. He's got 1,000 tech level and you've got 100. He's obviously going to beat you. Uh, but it would be interesting to see those guys do like, they're on 1,000. Everyone else on 1,000, they're on 100. Uh, be quite interesting to see. It'd be interesting to see how it works in like other lobbies. If you can like set up lobbies with this. What's your favourite track other than Qatar? On here? Uh, maybe the likes of Belgium or Silverstone. Good fun circuits. How can I sign up for the 100% races? I think I can do one this summer. So you need to be a midfield member. So click the join button down below to become a midfield member. And sign up in the Discord. Exclamation mark Discord. To join over there. George Russell, Max Verstappen fighting away. Uh, but yeah, this is just just gameplay using the uh, the Alpha Tauri. There's not really too much to showcase. We just did the uh, here. We just do some more laps around Qatar. I think I managed to improve and get into a 138. Wait, I want to show you my fastest lap. Let's let's watch the fastest lap. Oh, that was invalidated. my fastest lap? No, that was the invalidated one. Where's my fastest lap? I want to see when I go fastest. I'm pretty sure I improved it at one point. Maybe I don't. I don't. Okay, that was Qatar. Uh, I like this. Select the circuit and show you on the world map. Exactly. And there we go. We ticked off that goal for the vendor. And we get our money back. So we spend 1000 on it. We get 2500 back. We also get insight. 
I think the main spending thing, I think with these stuff is smart to do, but only if you know you're doing certain aspects of the game. So for example, I knew I was going to drive around Qatar and do 50 miles. So it was easy for me to tick that one off. Uh, we can upgrade our our, uh, our principal. We've got Thomas Hickman now. But unfortunately, it, you don't get that contract back that we used before. So you've got to um, you've got to be careful with it. We get some more stickers. We get one sticker uh, unlocked. You can actually buy stickers as well. If we click here, I don't know if you, we look at it anywhere else. But you can actually buy stickers from other parts if you want to using the insight. So it could be a way to fast track through. Uh, we get a lot of stickers here. And I think we... We tick off uh, Austria somewhere. Uh, but that's it. That is it. That's all the footage we have for F1 uh, 23. I'm going to end the stream here. We will be get up and running on F1 23. That we're, that's probably going to be it for content now until next week. Uh, next Tuesday, we're going to have access to the game. Everybody, I'm going to be doing... I don't even know what I'm going to be doing yet. I have my team that I want to do. I have F1 World I want to do. I also want to do online races with you lot. So the schedule will be sorted by next week and you will have a clear indication of what we're going to be doing on the stream as well as videos but that's going to do for today i hope you enjoyed it let me know once this video has finished posting in the comment section what you think of f1 world comment down below what you think of f1 world not in the chat just in the normal comment section let me know what you think of f1 world now after watching that right that's going to do for today thank you very much everyone for watching i'll see you on wednesday for F1 Race Stars Rags to Riches. Until then, goodbye.